Because the grass is always greener when you water with your wiener outside. <laughs> Hello, 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 Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the shit shipped at sea. <laughs> well, Monday. Well, well, well. Uh, happy, <laughs> happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> yeah. hey, did you, you must have been watching that IndyCar race. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that, Popa? What I've no, done I was is, at the IndyCar race. Uh, it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I've just done is very popular. Play they, the thing went live to one of the right. cars, and <laughs> the F and F. Oh, the F, really? Oh, then the no, no, goes, oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> That'll be the last time they go live. <laughs> Interesting. Speaking of live, uh, that faux pas brought to you by the Bob and Tom Show. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Christy. Hello, Jim. Oh gosh, I had a Christy Lee weekend. You're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna believe it. I got, I got texts. I got. Uh, hey, hey, you. I, I, huh? Ship. Ships yeah. at sea. Mr. and Mrs. North America, all the ships at sea. Thank you. Let's let's go. Hello, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick McGee. Hello, Ace Cosby. Hello, Chick. Hello, Willie Griswold. Hello, Chick. And hello, Ca Capilleros uh, Bananas or something. That, that's Spanish for happy birthday, Josh. Oh, thank you, Chick. There he is. There Thanks he is, our much. birthday boy. There thank you. How many spankings do you get today? 44. Oh, oh. great number. Good number, 44. Number. Yeah. Josh. John Riggins, Floyd Little, <laughs> Leroy yes, Kelly. That's my nice. number two, yeah. Black. You get pinched, do you, as well? Is that a thing? Oh. No, um, you spank every year. One. Okay. No one checks your oil. I mean, that's... <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I can make requests, I believe. Did you, uh, <laughs> I don't have to be mad. Did you, you hear Pat Godwin? 44 was his number. And his, <laughs> yeah, I, I that's right. right. Well, I, 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 his mythical State football champions. career. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to hear about his undefeated team. and Love it or no. What were you again? Were you the, what was your position? It's called flanker. I brought in the plays, and I re returned the punts and kicks. You uh, brought in the plays. You ran out there and told the quarterback what no, to do, you ran, ran back off? No, you run <laughs> back in for a play. Wait a minute. How play tall play. are you? 5'8". <laughs> That's good for a flanker. Hobbit League? What, what are you doing? <laughs> that was fast. Is that fast? Very, very fast. fast. By the way, right. help me okay. here. What, what happened to the term flanker? It's, it's gone. Yeah, it is it? gone. I don't know. And I say white out, and people get upset at me because they think I'm saying white out. And oddly enough, not very many whiteouts are white. You know what, Chick? That's true. <laughs> Except Cooper Cup. And there, well, never mind. Let's not start about that. Okay, uh, a couple things to point topic. out here. Once again, um, uh, we're emphasizing, underscoring, if you will, the letter P, um, as in... <clears throat> Got to wet my lips too. It's hard to get this one. Right. Ships, Ships at sea. That's the. Isn't that the first lesson they teach you in broadcast school? Yeah. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, <laughs> ships at sea. Everybody, um, so we opened up with a song uh, from Billy Jonas uh, about the uh, P. I know why. Could because coming up in the news, don't say what it is. We have an interesting story about uh, for the second time in a month. Yeah. About uh, recycling in an eco-friendly way. Mm -hmm. um, human urine. Oh, all right. It's very interesting. So uh, they want us to start drinking it, do they? No, 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 no. That was the. It's thing. okay to drink, though, right? I, I mean, other than the uh, idea of you're sterile, and I like yeah. the taste. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I'm not going to go out. Didn't Gary Busey uh, do that or something? Uh, well, no. We had a news story last year uh, out of uh, India. In oh, which yeah. um, someone, I, I believe a member of parliament, was recommending drinking urine to put off COVID. Ah. And again, th this is the kind of medical thing I certainly will not endorse or say it doesn't work. I, I would ask a medical professional. I'm, I'm skeptical, but who knows? Oh, well, I never got it. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Well, and, uh, that's a good reason. I kept everybody six feet away from me, Josh. <laughs> I remember everyone walked up to, hey, man, the, the Josh, did Josh get a cat? <laughs> no, no, no. He's drinking his own urine. <laughs> ah. Okay. All right. Somebody no. in here has some nice smelling hair today. Do you have a new hair product, Willie? Uh, it's not new, but thank you. Oh, I'll take that. I right. don't think I don't want to offend Josh or, Ch or my dad, though. It's not, I don't think it's a perfumey. Well, a no, hair, it just smells hair, good. A hair product on your father would be, <laughs> would be somewhat wasted, I would think. Yes. I would. Yeah. <laughs> no more butch wax. That would be like me trying to fall in love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. <laughs> what happened? Hey, hey. Oh, oh, you wow. see that? He can dish it out and take it. <laughs> Man. What are you looking at, huh? The, the, that crust hasn't uh, come off yet? You're going to be okay. Come on. Uh, uh, no, I'm all right. I had a Christy Lee weekend. Are you kidding me? Okay, it started. Uh, no, let's not. You were out and about, right? Shut up. Friday afternoon, <laughs> she goes, uh, no, you sent us a text last week, right? Yes. And I lost that text. Right. Which was a big mistake in my life. So I had to, I had to text you again to find out what your new address was. I right. never... 
So what? she sent me. Her so she Uber. invited uh, Chick over to the house. Yeah, she invited yeah. me and Josh and, and Willie over. and Willie over. Sophie, her oh, daughter, is leaving for. Uh, she knew you were out of town, pal. The Fair United enough. Kingdom, and uh, no, I told her not to invite you. <laughs> and, is that true? And we didn't invite Tom because we knew he, he wouldn't come. Couldn't come, so he she sent me her address. <laughs> Okay, right. texted me her new address, and here it is. No, that's not true. Uh, and then she sent me this text. You got Bobby Bush, a great GPS if you could find her house. So it, it covers uh, a yeah. vast, vast area of <laughs> part of the story. It's a nightmare getting over there. Okay. <laughs> You, I, I don't know. I don't. I'm sure I was not in the same time zone. From There's where no you one, live, I where I did you pass yeah. customs and border protection? I did, and I yeah. went over construction. Oh, anyway, she sends me this text, word for word. I am not embellishing, honestly. Don't feel obligated to come. <laughs> Josh isn't sure he'll make it. I do want to have you guys over sometime, though, for a cookout. <laughs> Is that the most blatant invitation you've ever read? And yet, you didn't heed it. I didn't heed it. You went. Not, I you said, went. no, no. I said, oh, I'm saving this text for tomorrow. Oh, I'm coming. I'm going to be there. I'm going to touch your stuff, and I'm going to use your bathroom. You did not use my bathroom, I did sure you? did. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't you notice the seat? It was a little damp. No. <laughs> so what was in the medicine cabinet? Uh, she doesn't have I a medicine have cap. She's got a dumb picture of the Eiffel Tower uh, hanging on. Sophie uh, painted that, you tool. I mean, it's a beautiful picture. <laughs> 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 that, that was the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. I, I thought it was she something. she did it in uh, like sixth grade, Well, too. no, it had a lot of Eiffel Tower <laughs> at the bottom. That's the only reason I have a lot of my kids' artwork up. That's so good. You know, the that Eiffel Tower sense. curved. Uh, well, that's hey. nice. It um, did look, uh, yeah, I had a lovely time. met a lot of people I... Um, don't ever want to see again. No, no, no. I, I met them all before, I think. Except Probably. Except yeah, two, it's all I family. Yeah, yeah. Were you a big hit chick? Oh, I was killing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Every now and then, you know. What time did the pants come off? Pants never he came can't off. Pants he never can't came handle off. the real story. You know story. what? It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> right after Chick left, we had a microburst. Do you know what those are? Oh, yeah, like a thunder. Uh, uh, yeah. But there, there never was any rain. It was just this incredible wind and, like, everything. It was unbelievable. There were leaves flying. It was, like, getting hit by those maple keys. <laughs> but you know, you know, old lady in a bicycle flying <laughs> <Yeah>. by. <laughs> and it lasted, like, five minutes, and it was done. You know who was a delight? Chrissy's mother is a delight. She was pretty it's, funny. It, it's been a long time since I've spent any time with her, and she's very Now, were you fun. sitting or standing at the bar? I wasn't standing. We were sitting I outside sitting on the deck. On the you, deck. I, was, I mean, you just can't take the sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it makes him uncomfortable. <laughs> he finds it unfunny. <laughs> he thinks it's boring. Yeah. You're having yes. a lovely, yes. delightful um, conversation. Right now. He had diet you had Pepsi. You didn't I, even drink. Right you now, I want to remind you. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't implying the chick was drinking. I was oh, just saying was your, your mom oh, yeah, was either at the bar or at the bar. No, she had some wine. Sure. Oh, this wine's great. Now, I want to remind you that uh, you can enjoy perhaps a glass of wine with a great meal from our friends at HelloFresh. Uh, yes, here's a great idea. Let's spend less money driving to the grocery store and wandering around the grocery store looking for stuff. When HelloFresh can do the shopping for you, then what do they do? Well, they do all the measuring. They have got uh, they deliver uh, chef-created recipes, more than 50 a week to choose from. Pick a day, pick two days, pick as many days as you want. Pick breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got it all at HelloFresh. They've also got their best offer ever. Let me tell you what kind of stuff you're going to make. Things like sweet heat shrimp tempura bowls. Willie, what do you got over there? This is the Salsa Verde Pork Tacos with Monterey Jack and Southwest Crema. HelloFresh sends you nine ingredients. You put them together in six easy steps. And in a half hour, you have the most delicious tacos you've ever seen from HelloFresh. And once again, they've done the shopping. They've done the measuring. They want you to try it, so they've made this great offer. You go to HelloFresh.com. That's the easy part. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Remember that code because you'll need it a couple of times. That's HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. That magic uh, code will get you what? How about this? 16 free meals, three free gifts. Code BTShow16 at HelloFresh for 16 free meals, three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. I should add quickly, by the way, yeah. they have comfort food. Uh, they have uh, locale or they have carb. Whatever you're into your food lifestyle, if you will. The code is BTShow16. The place, HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Coming up in sports... Well, the Celtics moving on. Uh, they made a lot of shots from distance last night in Boston. That's right. It was the Boston three party. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough to, uh, I've got to go throw up. I'll be right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. 
Hey, fellas, this is Floyd Tucker, the over-the-road trucker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7, of course. Ah, good morning. I'm Mark Allison, and you are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Monday, May 16th, and a happy birthday to Josh Arnold. My gosh, Josh, look at him over there in the birthday chair. Birthday cake all over his face. Well, not yet, but you know that's going to happen later today. We're also going to put Josh through the spanking machine, so that'll be fun. Greg Warren on the way with the Warren Report and Reno Collier as well with a look at Today in History. It's Monday, May 16th. Buckle up. It's going to be a great morning. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Entertainment News Desk. Amber Heard is expected to take the witness stand Monday for a third day of testimony in a libel suit filed against her by her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. The high-profile trial is resuming after a one-week hiatus. Jurors have already heard four weeks of testimony. Heard has already spent two days on the witness stand and still has not been cross-examined by Depp's lawyers. After the 2020 Cannes Film Festival was canceled by the pandemic and the 2021 edition was scaled back, the lavish French Riviera Cinema Soiree is set to return with a festival that promises to be something more normal, or at least Cannes' version of normal, where for 12 days, formal wear and film mingle in sun-dappled splendor and standing ovations stretch for minutes on end. This year's festival, which starts Tuesday, features the star power of Tom Cruise, a splashy new Elvis Presley biopic, and a long list of world-renowned auteurs. And speaking of movies, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness stayed on top of the box office charts in its second weekend in release. Studio estimates Sunday say the Marvel film earned an additional $61 million from North American theaters. Add that to global grosses at $688 million worldwide. Already one of the highest grossing films of the pandemic and the second biggest of 2022. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. They discovered the scorched ring box, but the ring inside was not damaged. The car was on fire, Josh. What do you want? This kid, this kid buys an engagement ring. Godwin, what do you got for us? Our car is a burning thing. <laughs> and it heats up the engagement ring. Steaming hood and melting tires. I left the ring a car on fire. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. How many times have you been auditioning for like a civic theater production or a Broadway musical or a church show or a school show or something like that? And you had a great audition, you sang a song, maybe you told a joke or two, and then the director comes up to you and says, oh, Great audition, kid, and uh, your resume looks good, but uh, do you know any pig Latin? <laughs> You'll never be caught in this position again if you enroll now in Haji's Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin. <laughs> At Haji Academy of Theatrical Arts in Pig Latin, you'll learn to act your way to some of the world's greatest theatrical masterpieces, and you'll do them entirely in Pig Latin. Things like Death of a Salesman. Oh, at, yeah, you may oh, add day. Oh, I'm nay. Oh, nay. Oh, nay. Oh, Old reruns of Hogan's Heroes. Ink clay. Oh, yeah, idiot, yeah. Oh, yeah, ice ray. General J. Orkalter Bay. 
<laughs> and of course, <laughs> the classics <laughs> of Shakespeare. Ute Ibe. Oye Atne Ute Ibe. At they is ye a ye eschenque. By the way, AA this is some financial scholarships available for women aged 18 to 25. Let me teach you to act in big Latin. For more information, write to Haji or phone 1 800 Akshme. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. These are stupid. Them are not stupid. They're stupid. Them are not stupid. They're stupid. Essential it's... Morning Radio. They're stupid. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the ships at sea. Here's yeah. Christy Lee at the news Hello. desk. There's uh, Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hey. He's at the uh, sidekick chair and celebrating his birthday today. Woo-hoo. Yes. Oh, there may be a treat coming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. There's Ace Cosby. Shout out to Eddie the Engineer. Your microphones all have your names now. Oh, really? What? I couldn't. <laughs> Christy and Chick have always been labeled, but uh, everybody else is wrong. So. Well, that's fascinating for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> now, will you do something? <laughs> oh, I'm glad it's helping you, Ace. Yeah, it is helping you. Yeah, good. There's Willie Griswold. I'm uh, Chick McGee at uh, the sports desk, and I've lost all hope. Okay. <laughs> Here's Tom. I have no idea what these labels mean or what these buttons do. Uh, <clears throat> study hard, kids. <laughs> you may need it later in life. Now, uh, welcome uh, back to the Bob and Tom program. It's great to be here. Happy birthday, Josh. Thanks, Tom. And um, you're going to be at the, my present to you is uh, once again sending you and your brothers to a uh, St. Louis Blues game. Oh, but how about that? Have you figured out which one you want to go to? Have they announced when they're going to be or any of that stuff? They've announced round two, but um, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, the schedule is just crazy, so I don't know if it can happen. They're playing they're... Colorado starting tomorrow night, so... Hmm. That's in Colorado, you know, the avalanche. Well, I imagine the that they, typically the way most sports work, they do get a home game. No, 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 no. No, this is a birthday gift. You don't just to get a, a cop out and send them to St. Louis. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Denver it's is probably lovely. Ch- it's probably cheaper to get to Denver, technically, but uh, I would think. I'm not they sure. They can drive to St. Louis. Well, yeah. since yeah, three of my brothers live in that area. Yeah, why would they no, Much no, cheaper no, no. to Tom yeah, fly them all. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Get him a hotel. You're right. Yep. It is probably cheaper. Uh-huh. Let's do this. Let's send the Arnold boys to Denver. Then you have to wear St. Louis Blues jerseys in a hostile arena. No, we're not going to do that. Josh, in one of my favorite movies, two people drive uh, to Colorado. Now, can you and your brothers uh, go in a dog van like they do in Dumb and Dumber and wear the tuxedos and you all drive there together? Oh, do man, that? that would be amazing. Yeah. Wait, no. I do like the idea of all you guys wearing tuxedos. <laughs> all right. Thank you for the, uh, you know what, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, the whole thing. Speaking of tuxedos, I have to wear one for this charity event coming up this weekend and um, can't find the pants. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, uh, a pair of black pants, no one knows. You you have a tuxedo. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. But, I mean, I don't know the pants. That's weird, right? No kidding. I've I've got the vest and the jacket. (laughs) Did you take them to the cleaners and forget? No, I took them to the cleaners Saturday, so I have them for the next weekend, but I... Can I just wear black pants or I would. a pair of black Levi's? Would anybody care? No. Yeah, I would. You know okay. what you should do? Yellowstone's very popular right now. Yes. You should probably wear black jeans. Yeah. I love wearing yeah. jeans and, and a suit cowboy coat. boots. Yeah, and yeah, a big a, cowboy look, yeah. hat. Yep. <laughs> Howdy. Tell them that you're new. <laughs> How, How do you feel you... about turquoise? Yeah, well, okay, well, that's not, not my thing. I did see a photo. I got one. I got two words for you. Is it two words? Yeah. Bolo tie. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. These are all possible. Um, I did search for an hour and find found the tie in a small box. Still no sign of the pants. No, the pants are... I've gone through everything. I, I don't have the pants. And there's not. A, there wasn't a sharding incident you forgot about. Uh, no, I think... Huh. I How about this? Have know. you noticed that your uh, your uh, daughter's dollies look really nice? <laughs> got nice new, and shiny. Uh, a little <laughs> satin stripe down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see Barbie has her... Uh, she's in mourning for something, but yeah. she's got a nice dark dress yeah. on. I don't know. I think I can figure this out. Is the last time you wore them Sam's wedding? Uh, no. 
I didn't okay, wear a tux. I don't, I don't know. I, I uh, the who knows. Anyway, that's you can just can you just buy tux pants or do you have? To yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. really. Yes, yeah. men's warehouse. Do guys? what America does. Uh, go and rent it under a fake name and keep the tux. Yep. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> this is easy stuff, Tom. Yeah. Well, the thing's made of some nuclear fusion material. It's very warm. I <laughs> hate wearing it. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry why we're talking about this. Oh, we have uh, some sports to get to. Coming up today in the show, comedian Greg Warren, comedian Reno Collier Greg, joining us. Greg Warren. Joining us. But it's my birthday. I know. That's your gift. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is... He's the, the guy that taught me the phrase, checking the oil. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll never, we are forever grateful yeah. to you. Do you know what that, that means, Willie? No, yeah, I know. When wrestling, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> check the other guy's oil. Yeah, the old... Uh, <laughs> What's that called in South Korea? Dong Chim. Dong Chim. Yeah. And it's, and it's, a, com it's a common thing for... Oh, yeah. The little kids love to play it. I thought High school <laughs> kids love to play it. I thought do, they, do they do it just to boys, boys to boys? Yes, boys to boys. You get in trouble for it, though, right? <laughs> uh, they did when they did it to me. Oh. They got in trouble. They, got, they, <laughs> so, and, uh, they saw an angry American. Explain day. it to me. You, you put your hands together and just put both of your index fingers. Yeah, kind of like you're making a fake gun with your uh, index fingers okay, pointing right, out right, there. Right, right, and right. you just jam it into the uh, in between the cheeks there as far as you can. And you had a student do that to you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's called wow. dong. What is it? Chim. Oh, chim, not chin. No, chim, chim yeah. means Do dong, needle. Dong chin, I saw a picture of that. <laughs> One of our listeners sent us. Oh, boy, that's <laughs> that's a weekend of... Uh... <laughs> Have you watched uh, the Mike Myers thing on Netflix yet? No, I've heard it's great. It's called The Pentaver. It, it's got you two written all over it. It's, uh, first of all, one of the... They, uh, Canadian, the first episode covers a Canadian television station, and it's CACA News. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> News. Anyway, one of the new uh, members of the Pentaverate, uh, they... they and the uh, Pentaverate are, are five men that are running the world secretly. Yes, but they're nice. Yes. <laughs> so they do it. They hit, it's exactly the uh, the plot line he outlined in uh, I Married an Axe Murderer. It, yeah, the old kind of Scottish guy mentions right. the Pentaverate. Yeah. yeah, he's had this idea for 40 years, it seems like. But um, they, they uh, faked the, one of the new members' deaths with, uh, he was, he was uh, with the latest internet craze called Kissing the Star. Oh, uh, they faked his death by, he, was, he broke his neck while trying to... <laughs> Kiss his own... Uh, Kiss his own... <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It was an internet craze, and I thought, boy, oh boy, Tom and Josh would be still be laughing at this. <laughs> but, but is that a... I was wondering, is it a craze, or did they make it up for the... Oh, I'm sure they made it up, but it's a perfect thing. It sounds just like one word. Yes, kissing... Uh, who, <laughs> have you tried to kiss the star yet, and they had a picture of... And is he, <laughs> <laughs> and again, the, the name of the outfit is what? The, the, the Pentaverate. It's a group of five men, yes. And it's, okay, based on the Trilateral Commission, I imagine. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Is, is yeah. The, does he play all of the members of... Yes, he does. Oh, it's got to yes. be. I'll have to watch it. Yes. I'm, it it's I'm got you written fan. all over it. I, I, will, I will check it out. Um, we have some interesting things happening in the world of news today. In fact, uh, a very interesting burrito news. <gasps> and I mean big picture burrito <laughs> news. Just in time. Like it might talking? change burritos as we know them. Yes. Wow. <laughs> It, I, it's fascinating. I thought they had it pretty much figured out. Yeah. Yeah. One, sure one would perfect. think that, but some university students at Johns Hopkins University have a development that is absolutely fascinating. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something. You've got my hopes up on this, and I'm very excited okay. about the burrito news. Christy, what do you think? And if it turns out to be uh, half-baked, I'm going to be very upset. It's interesting. I'm a purist, so I'm prepared to dislike whatever... You'll hate it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it's not the... I think uh, it's a neutral... Addition to the burrito that actually takes it up a level. Because okay. I got I got really excited when Taco Bell introduced the quesarito, which sure. is like a quesadilla. The burrito is wrapped in a quesadilla chick. Uh -huh. And I go, this is incredible. It's more cheese. But then you don't realize too much tortilla. Oh. Uh, oh no, exactly. this does not add tortilla. No, it doesn't. There's not too much tortilla here. I'm okay. suspicious because the last time I heard this type of news, it was the uh, the idiots wrapping uh, hamburgers and lettuce and uh, eating. Oh, I love it. That I like that. Something. Wait, hang on a second. I kind of like that, too, Instead actually. of a bun, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. 
Bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> uh, we we wrapped. We, it was fake meat wrapped in kale, and then oh, what we do please. is we serve it to you at the edge of a cliff, so I... you can jump off. After <laughs> real, uh, after you've taken beef? one bite, locally sourced, yes. Yes. treated well, yeah. beef, yeah. <laughs> grass fed <laughs> beef, no one says hand uh, fed. Yes, it comes with a crispy lettuce. Comes with the socialist anthem. Hi, how about a nice pretzel uh, bun? Uh, how about a nice brioche bun? Well, no. I lo- I, look, I love those things too. Here, here's some. Romaine. <laughs> no, no. To save, energy, nice nice to save energy, we didn't wash the kale or cook it. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That, that might be a road weed. Uh, no, we have good, we have a really good burrito news. Just okay. telling you. All right. I think you're going to like that. Dirty liar. We have, uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, let's see, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. We have South and North <laughs> Korean news. Oh. Now, once again, Josh, if you're not familiar with Josh, he was a, a teacher in South Korea. Yes. Where he got the old dong chim and the old... Well, you know what they say, Tom. Soko, Soko and Noko, they do not like each other. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hear about uh, something happening in, um, in in Soko or somewhere. In, oh, it's... But never mind. It, it involves uh, Noko, I should say. All right. And uh, we've got a world record or two and a song from Mr. Godwin, I assume. And we have Barmageddon. Did you hear about that new show? No. Bar Mageddon. Bar Mageddon. I'm intrigued. Blake Shelton and Carson Daly are teaming up for where they will play bar games and trash talk each other. <laughs> wow. That's the, right. Carson Daly games. could. Could it's the be. greatest combo since vomit and blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean they're doing a roast show and they didn't get anybody from a roast show or like a Friars Cub guy. They got the guy from TRL. Yes. Games so, like air cannon, cornhole, and keg curling. Those two guys seem to me like the nicest men in the universe, and they're going to trash talk each they're other. They're going to take. It's going to take place at Shelton's Nashville Bar, Old Red, and will air on the USA Network. I look forward to missing Bar Mageddon. It. Wow. <laughs> they're both going to call like in, and I'm going to have to eat crow. <laughs> oh, this audio. is a brilliant show. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, this smacks of uh, well, we sold them uh, the concept. What do we do now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well I guess we, we got to make the show to do bar games when we would host those. Oh yeah, we bar sure did. Whipped cream on the long you know neck really bottles. Yeah. Those <laughs> didn't, the didn't they do that? Oranges in the pantyhose. Didn't Guy Fieri do that with uh, win it? What is it? Win it to win it or win it to win it? In it, in it to win it or something? Yeah, win it to win it. You're in it to win it. Yeah. Okay. Well. God, who has time to watch all this? Stuff? I don't know. Let me tell you something. When I played musical chairs at a bar, uh, <laughs> it was the best. That, mu- I, that must have been very funny. Good times. Good times. <laughs> They'll do it at hockey games on the ice. I laugh. I, I can't stand it. And you know, back, it was a different time 30 sure. years ago, but you, you put a, a, a good looking broad in. Uh, <laughs> Wrap pantyhose around her waist with yep. an orange in the end of it, and yeah. try to get her to knock over a long neck Can't beer, use your beer hands. bottle. Can't use your hands. <laughs> That's comedy. She's moving that thing. Oh yeah. Check the people around that. you. They were boozing, but you were being a responsible guy, right? You weren't partying during this, were you? Uh, I, I I benefited on the kindness of many local <laughs> law enforcement officials. <laughs> I can tell you that. Right, I see. Let me tell you Listen, something. So this okay. this show may be a big hit. I can't. I don't know if it'll be a big what hit. What do you mean? Why am I driving? I can't walk. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get my car home. Thanks for the public service announcement. Uh, I just like to know what keg curling is. Are you curling kegs or are you playing, like, curling, like, yeah, the You'll have to watch the show. Oh, I, I assume oh. it's on, I assume it's, You're lifting, yeah, yeah. like, the game of curling on ice. Mm-hmm. I, I would, assume it's heaving keg. I don't know. I don't know. know. Are they going to put ice? Who knows? I, we've, America, run out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> you would love this if Gronk was hosting it. Maybe. That's actually not a bad idea. I, <laughs> You just blurted out a million-dollar concept, okay? Yeah, that actually, I think, would maybe be a, a more suitable. Like are, these guys, are these guys doing it, or are they just hosting it? No, he said they are going to do it. I they're going to trash talk. That's what they said. But I would oh, think, they'll have fun. I would think they would have guests like a Gronk. And yeah. Would make, oh, would maybe. Make sense. Yeah, that, that, I don't have a lot of details. Get like Gronk and like a Burt Kreischer or somebody. Someone oh, like yeah. Someone boozing and you can you have go. some fun. Oh, my God. That's yes. That's Burt Kreischer written all over it. Mm-hmm. Shirtless. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's move forward and uh, attack the world of sports. I'm sure something's going on. Oh, I was having a nice time. Time. Okay, well, what do you got? <laughs> uh, Celtics are in the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals. The C is everybody. Uh, they knocked out the defending champs, Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis. Uh, they win 109-81 last night at the Garden. Uh, they set a Game 7 record, 22 three-pointers by the Celtics last night. That's what they're kind of, uh, calling it, Tom, a Boston Three party. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the best they could do. Huh? 
Jason Tatum. They call him the Tater. I don't know why they don't call him the Tater. He had uh, 23 <laughs> points. <laughs> uh, Grant Williams, uh, long-range master, seven three-pointers, career-high 27 points last night. And everybody said the Phoenix Suns and the Dallas Mavericks, this game seven, it's going to be a blowout. Well, well, they were right, whew. but the Mavericks cruised into the NBA's Western Conference Finals. They built a 30-point halftime lead, a 123-90 win for Dallas in Phoenix God. over the Suns. Oh. Unbelievable. The Suns were the number one seed. Right? Mm -hmm. The Suns were the number one yep. seed, and Luka Doncic had 35 points for the game. He had 27 at halftime, and the Suns team had 27 at halftime. And they asked Luka after the game, they said, uh, did you know that you had the exact number of points that the entire Suns team had at halftime. And Lucas said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. So Cuban's going to be a little groggy on the set of the tank today. Oh, yeah? I bet he will be. <laughs> Look, I'm uh, I'm really got a headache. And, uh, for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, I said I saw that the guy from State Farm said they couldn't cover a disaster like that. He's usually, they'll cover anything. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. He'll, he'll yeah, look, uh, uh, what did they do? say? And, uh, they, and, and the Suns were home, is that right? The Suns were home, yes. and uh, this is the second 2-0 lead that Chris Paul has had in the playoffs and been eliminated. <sighs> he has still not won uh, an NBA I don't know what happened. I don't know. Well, Devin Booker was interviewed last week. For, uh, he plays for the Suns, and he goes, you know, I've never been in a game set, but I, uh, I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> and I thought... Uh-oh. <laughs> of course, I can say that now. I uh, thought, uh-oh, they're headed for a real ass whooping. I didn't, I didn't know, Josh. I didn't know. No, no. You nobody don't knows. know what Devin Booker, the pressure cooker, is going to do. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It's an ass whooping. Ass whooping. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> is that uh, ass so barefoot? Yeah. It sounds Whoa. like it. Ass whooping. You got a song for us, Pat? Here's sure, Pat, was, here's Pat with ass whooping. <laughs> You don't know. I actually, you know what I'd like to hear? Oh, boy. Um, I'd like to hear uh, at some point uh, your <laughs> tribute to Johnny Cash. Oh, we could do that later. Okay, good. What about what about now? <laughs> well, I'm all capoed up for birthday, boy. Oh. Oh, oh, really? oh, oh I had no oh, idea. Oh, my goodness. Um, you have a, a tribute to uh, to uh, Josh's birthday? You guys can all sing. It's going to be fun. All right. Yeah. All right. I knew a man, Josh Arnold. He told jokes for you. Oh. Uh, Loves the St. Louis blues. Go blues. <laughs> Gets teased for liking porn and pizza pies. Has a real short fuse. No, I don't. <laughs> he bombs so hard. Oh, he oh, bombs so hard. So hard. <laughs> In Toledo one night. Uh -huh. well, we all remember that. <laughs> Mr. Josh Arnold. Everybody sing. Oh. Mr. Mr. Josh Arnold. Mr. Josh, Josh Arnold. Arnold. It's your birthday, all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I met him on a show on radio, it was. Bob and Tom. Silver chin, a flannel shirt, and fork in hand. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a blistered palm. <laughs> he has no wife, likes the single life. <laughs> Vacations by himself. Look at the squirrels. Look at the squirrel. <laughs> Wonderful time. They're flying. <laughs> when it comes to loving women, Josh says he is. Thorough and generous. His junk is plucked, his ass is shaved, his sack is waxed. <laughs> He's adventurous, but he said they didn't laugh. Oh, they didn't laugh. <laughs> In Toledo that one night. Uh, let's get over it. Five nights. Mr. Josh Arnold. What a guy. Come on. Mr. Josh Arnold. One more time. Mr. Josh Arnold. Happy birthday. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Pat. For those of you new to the show, Josh, uh, famous for uh, keeping a clean house south of the uh, south of the border. <laughs> south of the border. Um, yeah, yeah. A fact Down that Tom finds so fascinating. Yes. Yeah, I sure mean, did. waxing it, really? Yeah, man. Gosh, I was talking to a friend this weekend, and someone said they're going to get a bikini wax, and I go, oh, I have a friend that does that, and they said, what's her name? And I got to say, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, now, uh, I want to remind you, if you've been to the uh, drugstore lately, 
went to pick up that prescription and you went, uh, that seems a little bit excessive. Uh, how about lowering the prices of your prescription drugs with a free app called GoodRx by going to GoodRx.com and check it out. Now, Christy, exactly how does this work? Well, it instantly at GoodRx compares prescription prices at pharmacies right there in your neighborhood and could find you a discount up to 80%. GoodRx is free and easy to use, and it works whether you do or do not have insurance. And even if you have insurance, check this out, and I was really surprised by this. GoodRx may actually beat your copay price. So check out GoodRx.com slash Tom. From there, you will find prescription savings at over 70,000 pharmacies nationwide, like CBS, Kroger, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Vons, Walmart, and more. Simple, smart savings on your prescriptions just a click away. Check out GoodRx. Go to GoodRx.com slash Tom. That's GoodRx.com slash Tom. GoodRx is not insurance, but can be used in place of insurance. In 2021, GoodRx users saved an average of 81% on retail prescription prices. Happy birthday, Josh. I appreciate that, Gordon. Oh, thank you, Gordon. I got you $11. Well, that'll be nice. I'll use it towards something. We've already covered that. Uh, we'll uh, talk with Gordon. And uh, uh, real quick, uh, the sports update. Uh, NHL playoffs. Uh, the NHL fans say, and I have to agree, and I'm not really a fan. Yeah, the best playoffs in sports, and they certainly proved it last night. So, wow. okay. I'm also coming up, giraffe news, mm-hmm. um, and uh, urine in the news of all things. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at eight 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 two six two eight six six one. More Bob and Tom next. State law. things you hear on the Bob and Tom show. And I'm not stupid. I know there's more to life than just sex. It's just none of those other things feel as good as sex. I mean, I love cookies. Oh yeah. But if I do not have access to cookies, I will not rent a movie and watch two other people eat cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect stranger uh-huh. <laughs> eating cookies. No. Nothing. No. Uh-huh. How do you not think about sex? Everything on TV, sex, you know, all the commercials, very beautiful women in all the commercials now. doesn't even matter what the product is. It's just very sexual. Mm-hmm. And then you finally have sex, and it's, it's kind of disappointing. Mm-hmm. Where's my Sprite, my new car? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think women should have shelves next to their bed filled with prizes, depending oh. on how well you did. You know well, what I that's mean? That's a good idea. Like they do at the carnival. Uh-huh. Sure. That's they great. have something to shoot for, you know. <laughs> Are you going to take anything on the Right. I'm going to go for the Van Halen mirror tonight. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is Bob and Tom, 24-7. Bob and Tom tonight, the video webcast of highlights from today's show tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Check it out, won't you? The Facebook page of the Bob and Tom Show, our YouTube channel, as I mentioned. Also, see BobandTom.com for more details. It's a four-hour radio show, but we take the best of the best from today, and we show it tonight. Again, we call it Bob and Tom Tonight. If you haven't checked it out yet, what are you waiting for? Give it a shot tonight. You might enjoy it. Bob and Tom Tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, right there on Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Check it out. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up on a Monday. Greg Warren and Reno Collier on the way. Good morning. I'm Mark Allison. With things you may have missed, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has blasted officials over slow medicine deliveries and ordered his military to respond to the largely undiagnosed COVID-19 crisis that has left 1.2 million people ill with fever, 50 dead in just a matter of days. More than 500,000 people in quarantine due to the fever. 
Eight more deaths, nearly 393,000 newly detected fevers reported Monday. It's not known how many COVID-19 since North Korea likely lacks enough test kits. It's also not clear if North Korea's urgent messaging about the outbreak indicates a willingness to receive outside help. It has shunned vaccines from a U.N. back program. China and South Korea say they're willing to help, but indicated North Korea has yet to request any help. Oil giant Saudi Aramco says its profits soared by more than 80 percent in the first three months of the year as the state-backed company cashes in on the volatility in global energy markets, soaring oil prices following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The bumper first quarter earnings announced Sunday by the firm formerly known as the Saudi Arabian Oil Company show a record net income of $39.5 billion, up $21.7 billion during the same period last year. Already resurgent economic activity and the relaxation of global coronavirus restrictions had revived demand for hydrocarbons and delivered strong annual results for the state-backed company last year, recently passing Apple as the highest income company in the world. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hey, man, it's Donnie Baker. And the fact remains, there's nothing better than being a VIP. And I don't mean like his dudes on Pervert Row at Xanadu's. I'm talking about a Bob and Tom VIP. Best thing, you'll never miss another minute of the show. I swear to God, you can hear the show here in the morning, and then because you're a Bob and Tom VIP, you'll get the podcast of the entire show, a 12-month library of podcasts, hundreds of Bob and Tom comedy tapes, and a 60-day video archive of the show. Bob and Tom VIP. You have to get it. It's state law. Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Brigham All Broadcasting presents another Bob and Tom Olympic moment in history. Beautiful Katerina Witt of East Germany became a household name in women's figure skating after her gold medal performance at the 1984 Winter Games in Sarajevo. Four years later at the Calgary Games, she successfully defended her title. Then, ten years after that, in 1998, she posed naked in Playboy magazine, Mm. a move which critics said severely tarnished her image and marketability. Men throughout the world were outraged. (laughs) If Katerina were going to pose nude, why had she not done it in 1988 when we were all fascinated by what she must look like with her clothing? To wait 10 years after her physical prime, when we had all clearly moved on to Nancy Kerrigan, (laughs) was a slap in the face to male fans everywhere and goes against the very spirit of the Olympic Games. Yes. Hello, Michelle Kwan, are you listening? Uh, <laughs> this has been another Bob and Tom Olympic uh, moment yeah. in history. Hello. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. Oh, That's God. a good day's work, everybody. Blow we'll it. Start finishing. Hello, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. And someone asked me about that. How come you're not saying? There's Christine <laughs> Lee at the Hi, news chick. desk. Sorry, I'm so sorry. There's Pat Godwin. He's in the performance room. Hi, chick. Pat, you okay, buddy? I'm all right. We got something to cover here. Uh, yeah. During the commercials, there was My an ass incident. Shoot out. Yeah, Uh-oh. there's uh, Josh Arnold, <laughs> birthday boy, at the sidekick chair. I. One of the gifts I've been given today is being I, able to witness that I, chewing out. I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want you two, Pat and Tom, to shut up. I want Josh to report what happened because yeah, I, he will do it fairly and concisely. I didn't get up and I heard oh, something going amazing. on. There's, there's Ace Cosby. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's got my name on the button. You need to shut up about that. There's Willie Griswold. I'm ready for Josh Court, baby. All right, Josh. That's Tom. Josh, what happened in our green room during commercial? Well, right before we went to commercial, Pat regaled me with his wonderful (laughs) Mr. Josh Arnold song. Great song. It was lovely. Lovely. Now, uh, Tom had initially said, uh, I believe you have a Johnny Cash song for us, Mm -hmm. and Pat 
all, uh, said, uh, I'm not capable up for that, but I am ready for this. And he did the Josh Arnold song. Well, yeah. Right. Called an audible. Well, right. he and I, Pat and I are talking in the green room. Have you uh, a pleasant <laughs> 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 You know what? We're, we're at work. Yeah. Uh, hi, how, how are was you? your weekend? Pat's off a great weekend uh, in Iowa, yeah, and yeah. I, I had a very uh, nice weekend uh, pre birthday. <laughs> and so. Uh, all of a sudden, Tom, the tornado, uh, yeah. huffs and puffs his way in and looks at Pat and says, uh, well, what happened there? I thought we were doing Johnny Cash. <laughs> no, no. Now, is, uh, is that ag- verbatim what he said? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, what, what happened there? Yeah. Do you know about the green light? And then he goes, he goes uh, uh, well, you told me we, were, we, we talked about how you were going to do Johnny Cash. Pat goes, well, I wanted to, I was capoed up for uh, the Josh song, so I wanted to do that. He goes, well, you, you, didn't, we, you didn't talk about that. We talked about Johnny Cash. And he goes, so we, we didn't have enough time for that Josh song. And Pat goes, yeah, we, I got it out. And he goes, uh, no, 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 you don't understand. You, uh, are you aware of the new light? And Pat, Pat goes, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, so goes, Has anybody explained to you how it works? Yeah. When that thing goes on, we have two minutes. <laughs> Because you guys know how many times Pat has made us late. And so and Pat goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pat goes well, it all worked out, didn't it, Tommy? Not really. <laughs> and so then... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pat, God love him, still trying to save yeah. the situation. And then, and then, he, finally, then, then he creates a lie. And then finally, oh, he goes, I sent you a message. No, you didn't. I sent you uh, four song choices. <laughs> well, I didn't get that message. And then, just, I just can... and it and then finally Pat goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> And then there's silence for 30 seconds, or ah, maybe a little. And then Tom goes, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> to which I replied, it sure seemed like it when you stormed in here and chewed him out. Now, in, and then, my defense, in my defense, here's the message from Pat. That song is not on there. That is true. I, I called an audible. I forgot about it that song. It worked out great. I thought it would have been cute. Oh. Everything was Wait. fine. My favorite part about this is... You realize that Pat does many important, he has many important jobs on this show. Mm-hmm. But you know, job one is he's here so you can yell at him. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Because none of us will take it or we'll just start crying. And yeah. then you can't praise him too much. Pout. If you yeah. praise him too much, it's no. he's going to get a big hit. That's so that's true. why I haven't mentioned the fact that his brand new album uh, is hovering at what, number five? Number four, yeah. Uh, number four on, on the charts right now, Pat's brand new album, uh, his new live album. Captain. All right. Live. Captured live. I'm, so I'm not going to mention that because then I'll get a, well, you know, I said I was going to do this, but I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> you know, I'd like to, I'd like to do my, uh, it's not the end this of the is world. a serious song. It's not a comedy song. Oh, God. But, well, it's, it's called Lighthouse. I sing this at weddings and every wedding where I've sung it, the people have been divorced. That is true. That Isn't is that true? true? That's a true fact. true, yeah. <laughs> now, could we? Get you to do just a little bit of Lighthouse. This is, yeah, is this, sure. this your first song you've ever written? Uh, one of them, like one of the first couple of songs. Yeah. It's a serious song, I wrote, right? Yeah, I wrote this. I, I wrote this. And I would sing this at weddings, and uh, every uh, every time I sang it, oh, here, here we go. You're my golden inspiration. <laughs> right off the bat, it stinks. <laughs> golden inspiration. Golden inspiration. <laughs> that is meaningless crap. <laughs> You're my hope, my navigation. <laughs> You're my <Shine>. navigation. <laughs> oh, God. You know what this is? Just a song about a lighthouse. <laughs> You're There's a no l- metaphor. <laughs> You're a lighthouse when life turns stormy sea. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> Stormy Sea, singular. <laughs> In a wave of confusion, just look for me. Oh my wave, God. you got the sea thing. <laughs> oh, you're my lighthouse. <laughs> yeah. Love it. <laughs> Ever watching, always guiding. That's lovely, Pat. <laughs> you will be singing that when I do get married. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. And I'll be laughing. Yes. You got oh, to get something in there about the girl only having one eye, like an eye. <laughs> <laughs> and every marriage, uh, all divorce. I can't oh, promise that my 25. three brothers will not be throwing half full beers at you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me another bunch. I'm not allowed to sing at weddings now. Is that, oh, is that really? the first song? You, you, you ever uh, yeah, had, I think a song and, called Circle Circle City was first, then uh, Lighthouse. Yeah, I see. But I sang that at all. But what is the what is the chorus? 
No, and there really isn't one. That's just <laughs> that's just that I was dirge a, I was like. A, I, yeah, I was a, <laughs> there's no. Is there a, a middle eight? Well, you know, Hotel California doesn't have a course. <laughs> well, welcome, well, welcome to, to the, the Hotel, Hotel California. California. Well, that's the or uh, I mean a bridge. Uh, <laughs> oh, does, oh, I'm sorry. So does the? I wasn't formally trained. Uh, no, no. <laughs> does Does Lighthouse have a bridge? It knew. <laughs> no, okay. got, it's got some stairs you can get to. Okay, it. good. So are we going to get to the? Well, uh, so are we going to hear Johnny Cash? <laughs> well, well, we don't have time. Right well, uh, <laughs> hey, remember, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it tries to Could have fooled him. us. <laughs> tries right. to pick him up a little right, bit. Right, right, right. Realized he'd whiplash him down too hard. <laughs> Realized he'd been taser him. At one point, Arlie Ermy walked in and goes, hey, calm down. <laughs> God, okay, sorry. <laughs> Don't call Pat a jack. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to remind you that um, uh, I did hear, uh, we have a nice letter here, which I've already lost, that uh, Pat killed him here. Um, uh, there, I should say. Pat killed it in uh, where were Lebowski's. In yeah, it was it was phenomenal. What a great time that was. All right, Good. and where and was it again? I'm sorry. Washington, Iowa. Washington, Iowa. Those guys are incredible. A lot of Bob and Tom. And fans. there's a you want to? Well, can you tell the story? Told me not right now, mm -hmm. but about the guy. Okay, yeah. we, we had a guest a guest artist okay. appeared. <laughs> Yeah, um, and yeah. he's probably still hungover. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, coming up in sports, I'm sorry, we didn't get much sports in that. No, we, we sure didn't. Um, the Cincinnati Reds did the most Cincinnati Reds thing that the Cincinnati Reds have ever done uh, yesterday. We'll talk about that. And uh, NHL playoffs, and we'll take a quick look back at the NBA playoffs. So we're all set. And uh, how do you feel about booties? I know that Josh and I are butt buddies. Oh, yeah. We'll, sure. We'll, we'll Love the butts. You got the booties. She got the booties. We'll she talk got about the booties. Booty, booty, oh, yeah. booty. Uh, also, uh, once again, a big picture. You know yeah, me. That's, yeah, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> big picture news yeah. about burritos. Now, I, I can see a lot of skepticism here from uh, a, a group of people that all enjoy burritos. Oh, yes. But we have serious burrito news coming up. I'm, I'm okay. quite, quite, quite pleased with it. Um, also, um, uh, another song from Pat. No, Well, Pat, I gonna... hope to God we have the Johnny, Johnny Cash, Cash song. song. Jeez. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> and also, uh, since we're now communicating in public, you got that bridge thing ready? <laughs> yes, I okay. got it ready. All right, you need a capo for your keyboard? Oh, it's important. It's important. <laughs> okay, good. We'll, we'll be back with all these things. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You can find us on Twitter at Bob and Tom, or you can email us at Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. So, Nick, let's start with the basics. Are you a uh, married guy? No, I got just uh, got divorced. Sorry to hear about that. It's okay. Lots of people get divorced. Um, Einstein got divorced. He did? Hey. Yeah, did you know that? Albert Einstein, arguably the most intelligent man who ever lived, got divorced. They should tell you that before you get married. <laughs> It shouldn't be, do you love her? Do you want to spend the rest of your life with her? It should be, do you think you're smarter than Einstein? <laughs> oh, so you're dating then? Uh, I guess. You know what I don't want to do? I don't want to say I love you anymore. I hate that first I love you. That's the worst. The first time you ever tell a woman you love her. If they like you, they want to hear it. And when they hear it that first time, something comes over them. You know, their eyes get all wide. and Get that diabolical grin on their face. You can almost feel them saying... Excellent. <laughs> 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 
spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. I don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. This is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. That's my cue. Good morning. I'm Mark Allison. Back at full strength. Yes, I was out on Thursday and Friday. Not often feeling under the weather, but when I do feel under the weather, I like to enjoy it. So at any rate, back skating at full strength here at the Bob and Tom Show. So glad you're with us as well. Comedian Greg Warren on the way. Comedian Reno Collier. And my gosh, what does this say here? Happy birthday to Josh Arnold. That's right. Monday, May 16th. Josh, just 26 years old. <laughs> I don't know. At any rate, happy birthday to Josh Arnold. I know he's getting ready to celebrate his sixth anniversary coming up in August, and we all look forward to that. You are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom News Desk. President Joe Biden and the First Lady plan to travel to Buffalo, New York, Tuesday to grieve with the community as it mourns those killed or wounded in Saturday's supermarket shooting. Biden is urging unity as a remedy for what he calls, quote, the hate that remains a stain on the soul of America. Are there fake and spam accounts on Twitter? Well, the obvious answer to both questions is yes, but that seems to be news to the man who says he wants to spend $44 billion to buy the social media platform. Billionaire Elon Musk says he's putting his purchase of Twitter on hold, though he still plans to go through with it. The hang-up is knowing the number of spam and fake accounts on the site. While the number of bogus accounts may vary widely, they've always been there, and some analysts think that Musk may be raising the issue as a reason to back out of his purchase. And two researchers at the University of Michigan are emphasizing the P in peony. Nancy Love and Krista Wigington have been applying urine-based fertilizer to heirloom peony beds at the school in Ann Arbor before the flower's annual spring bloom. And it's worked. Now they want to get the word out about how nutrition-rich urine could have environmental and economic benefits. One right off the bat is that a recent study found using recycled urine could lead to big reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and energy. Who knew? And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. The next time you're traveling, don't forget about the historical and beautiful state of Illinois. Catch a Cubs game at Wrigley Field in Chicago. Hit a riverboat casino in Peoria. And make sure you visit the charming community of Effingham, Illinois, where Interstate 70 meets the little Wabash River. (laughs) And whenever you're in Effingham, visit the Effing House Family Restaurant. (laughs) Founded in 1854 by the corpulent railroad magnate, Colonel Harry S. Effing, the Effing House Family Restaurant is one of America's oldest and finest dining establishments. Start your day with a delicious effing country breakfast featuring an effing omelet with toast, grits, and a big effing beverage of your choice. Or try our BED, the big effing deal. Once again this week, it's effing ham and eggs. For lunch, try the huge effing burger and fried in a rich butter sauce mixed with big effing egg yolks. We call it the effing heart attack. It's an effing experience you'll never forget. And what about dinner? Juicy effing steaks with fresh effing veggies and a creme brulee that's effing out of this effing world. Or go effing nuts with a hot fudge sundae. How would you rate the effing house family restaurant? It was the best effing experience of my life. Rate this place? Well, I wouldn't give it a B. I wouldn't even give it a C because it's effing A. <laughs> In Effingham, Illinois, it's the Effing House Family Restaurant. You'll have an effing good time. <laughs> Hey, everybody, this is Jimmy Pardo. You recognize my voice from the show and my face from television. You are listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, where our slogan today is, Hey, it's not the end of the world. (laughs) 
There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello, chick. There's Pat Godwin hey, at, the, at the performance room. Hey, chick. There's birthday boy Josh Arnold at the sidekick chair. Hello there. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. Manning the track phone hotline hot phone. There's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. I'm Chick McGee at the sports desk. And here's Tom Griswold. We get letters. Email Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. All kinds of topics. We like to keep on topic for minute or two. Uh, this goes back uh, to last week. We were discussing, for reasons I don't remember, racks. R-A-X. Oh, yes. Because I said that racks roast beef is really good. And we were wondering if they were still around. Mm-hmm. Right. And apparently there are some. Mm-hmm. We get this nice letter uh, from uh, Corbin, Kentucky, from John. Oh, that's just outside Burnson, right? He Yes, Corbin, oh, near Burnson. It's a Twin City. Is that an L.A. law L.A. Law? Twin City's oh, Corbin Burnson. Damn right it is. Wow. Really? Damn you want right to crank up the fugitive there real quick there, Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> L.A. law was at least... No. The fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> John writes, you were discussing restaurants that only had a few left or were completely gone. There is a Rax in Harlem, Kentucky. They're known for their beef, bacon, and cheddar sandwich which they refer to as the BBC. Sorry, Ace. Uh, (laughs) When I order, it's hard not to scream at the screen and say, I need a BBC. Okay. In my Uh, mouth. I need a BBC in my mouth right now. See, BBC can stand for uh, the the British Broadcasting Corporation, of course. And then you guys, of course, know you you taught me the uh, the, the more vulgar street name for the BBC. Oh, that vulgar, just big black. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's like ATM. Tom. <laughs> Dear fellas, I enjoyed your tribute to television theme songs on Friday. However, all weekend long, <laughs> I had the theme from Super Chicken playing in my head. <laughs> you knew it was a dangerous job when you took it. <laughs> Super Chicken. That is a great theme. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, was it's Super fun. Chicken a show or a commercial? It was, it was a, a show. It was a show. Super was a Chicken was a cartoon, cartoon show out of Rocky and Bullwinkle yeah. stable, I think. No, it was a part of the three-part thing. Uh, it yeah. was uh, Super Chicken. of the Jungle, Super Chicken, and... Uh, okay. Did someone say Super Chicken? <laughs> When you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking, <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for super chicken. But if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you know the job was dangerous when you took it. He will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kicking. There was one thing you should know, there was no one else to turn to. Call for super chicken. Call for super chicken. Was he, was he indeed super, or was he sort of he uh, inept? Drink, he had to drink it. Uh, super sauce. He had... Uh, yeah, that's right. Sort of yeah. awful he euphemism for... <laughs> <laughs> or uh, rather, <laughs> some allegory. Oh, and Tom Slick. Tom Slick was the other one. I had a... I, uh, I have a... Rem- uh, he had a um, Three Musketeers hat and a sword, too, and a cape. Yeah. Yeah. Super huh. chicken. What do you think of that, Tom? Yeah. Uh, the cape's an interesting look. We've talked about it before. I think uh, I think Chick could pull off it. Uh, I think he could, yeah. he could get a cape and wear it all the time. And <laughs> just... Another heroic foul, uh, Darkwing Duck yes. wore a cape. Darkwing Duck. Yeah. What's Darkwing mm-hmm. Duck? Part right. of the um, uh, DuckTales oh. universe. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm a purist. You can have any cartoon uh, after, I'm going to say, oh, this is a big statement, 1970. I, I don't care. Mm. I don't what? care about anything There's some really You missed out on some really good stuff. Uh, I don't care. Okay. Any cartoons? Even The Simpsons kind of irritate me anymore. What? So. Well, yeah, that's, that's right. Well, Remember, I'm a crabby nice. old guy. Remember? Come on. Okay. Oh. Tom, we, last week we also talked about record stores. Remember that? Yes. yes. Yeah, some, uh, some wonderful records. You were sent some stuff from... Uh, well, the way it begins and ends, if you're talking record stores, with Magnolia Thunderpussy on campus in Columbus, Ohio. Oh. It's still open. My, what's it, what's my record store when I was a kid, yeah. And and you got it, and that's still uh, open, right? Yeah, and I've got a, um, a Magnolia Thunderpussy t-shirt. So cool. I was wearing it around the house over the weekend. And then we started discussing a lot of dip- interestingly named yes. record stores around the country. Well, we've heard from our friends... Out of Walla Walla, Washington, one of my favorite cities in America. Walla Walla, Washington. Heard you talking about record stores with weird names. You also mentioned needing to get a shirt from the record store in Walla Walla. Do you guys, do anybody remember the name of the record store out of there? No. Walla Walla, Waxen Free? Yeah. (laughs) I like that. The name of the record store. Some swag. And we have swag here. Hot Hot poop. (laughs) Hot Uh, poop. Yes. Now, we have been sent hats. Hot poop. Oh, Uh, my gosh. I've been given a shirt and a pin from Hot Poop. (laughs) 
And uh, thank you, Jim, the owner. Uh, boy, oh boy, and Harold sent these in for us. He's also a half-fat gentleman, he says. Make sure <laughs> Jessica Alsman gets one of the hats. Mm. Hmm. hmm. What's that I all about? We better, uh, no, we'll check each one for DNA and then. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps he is the owner of a glass table. Um, oh. So, Tom, would you wear this black hot poo pad out and about? Uh, no. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> please, please give it to him. He's going to have it in his car and forget a hat one day and he's going to have to wear it at the gym. Please. <laughs> and look at the back. It says Walla Walla Bing Bang. Oh, See, that's, that's, that's from. Uh, you, any idea what that's I from? Have no oh, idea. it's the yeah. uh, ooh, ee, ooh. Uh, uh, bing, bing, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> the witch doctor. Yeah. I knew the witch doctor. I went to the witch doctor. Told me what to do. Yeah, that well, was... thank you so much, hot poop. Okay. Um, well, I think hot poop would be better if they could if they could use the S. I think we're at a point in our society where we can just put S out there, can we? Instead of well, hot, poop? hot poops. No, no one's gonna wear no, that. No hot S. Uh, no. <laughs> I think more people wear hot S. Well, never. Mind. Uh. All right. All right. People wear a lot of dumb shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Another red one. A lot of dumb shirts. We get a lot of dumb shirts. And thanks for the hot poop. Yeah, the, the, the red one really creates a problem. Grateful. A red Thank hot you. poop? Very <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that, that's kind of uh, I have diverticulitis. Okay, could we uh, possibly get back Sports, to sports? Sports, uh, we got the final four in the NBA all set. Celtics in the Heat, Mavericks, and the Dubs. And that starts uh, tomorrow night, I think. And here's Major League Baseball score. Uh, story, uh, the most Cincinnati Reds, Reds thing ever. Reds starter Hunter Green and reliever Art Warren yesterday combined to allow zero hits. Complete game. But it didn't count as a no-hitter or even a win. <laughs> the Pirates uh, eked out a run in the bottom of the eighth for a one nothing win. This was the sixth time in big league history since 1901 that a team has won despite not getting any hits. Oh, man. It last happened in 2008. Uh, Jared Weaver and... Jose Arendo of the uh, Angels lost while holding the uh, Dodgers hit list. Major League Baseball record-keeping rules Cincinnati's accomplishment is not an official no-hitter because its pitchers didn't go at least nine innings. Green, the prized Reds rookie, pulled with one out in the eighth. And Warren gave up uh, an RBI ground out yeah. to Brian Hayes for the only run. I got the song. You did? I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. And then the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said that... That's right, David Seville and the Chipmunks. I love that song. Uh, this uh, It wasn't around when I was a kid, but they did a version of it in the Rugrats movie, so I'm familiar with it, but not this version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, um, it, it was a classic. I, it's I, huge. Yeah, and so the the hat says uh, "Walla Walla Bing Bang." Yes, yeah, right? on the back there of the hot poop. Uh, I did not know that was the chipmunks. I didn't either. I didn't either. Yeah. Uh, no, you didn't. Didn't recognize old Alvin there. <laughs> well, I recognize the tape, the, the tape speeding. Huh? Interestingly enough, it's this version is credited to just to David Seville. Let me see if oh, this is I don't the think it was the chipmunks. It might have just been he's David Seville. The, yeah, Who cut tip. his hair, by the way? Who? The barber of Seville. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you very much. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just because it's your, it's your, it's your birthday. birthday. <laughs> wow. Let's see if this is a different version. I think... Uh, don't care for it. <laughs> uh, now then. There they are. I don't think so, fellas. I made that Oh, it's bad stereo. <laughs> Please stop. Okay, yeah. That's, um, <laughs> sorry. Do you know what they had to go through to get the chipmunks' voices when they first came out? Yeah, they sped the tape up. Well, I know, no, but they had to... The timing well, and all that? The timing of yeah. how they they just don't go in and then they, okay, let's just speed it up. They didn't do it. They had to... Yeah, they had to lay right. They had to lay right with the vocal, you jerk. You know what? Why don't you go make yourself happy and go yell at Pat? <laughs> Come on. And now you can do it on your phone. Okay, is that point. sports? Yeah. No, it's not. We got uh, more sports coming up. Okay. NHL playoffs. They're the best playoffs in sports. Uh, and coming up, we're also going to talk with comedians Greg Warren, Reno Collier. Thanks for the warning. And um, I will remind you that Josh Arnold. Arnold and Willie G will be coming up, uh, let's see, this Saturday, right? Yep. Yeah. At oh, Cachia Tours in Illion, weekend. New York. Am I getting this right, Josh? That, that's correct. Tom, this is the weekend they're in the car, a closed Ten car hours. for 12 hours. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. Great. Take a day yeah. for I'm calling him. I'm hanging up. I'm oh. <laughs> yeah. right going to kill me. Ariana, I want to remind you that uh, maybe, would you get home today? Wouldn't it be nice to 
Look, there's a package on the step. It's, what, it, it's from Bespoke Post. Is that a box of awesome, Christy? It sure is, because Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to put together a box every month with really unique goods. No matter what you're into this season, Box of Awesome has you covered. From camping gear essentials to beach day and travel must-haves, your Box of Awesome arrives with everything you need for an awesome summer. What's in your box today, Josh? Christy, look at this. It's the Scorch. Oh. Hot sauces from small brands all over the country, some from Texas, Nevada, California, and more. How do I get started, Chick? Well, you go online and uh, visit boxofawesome.com and take the quiz, and those answers help them pick the right Box of Awesome just for you. And now, just because you know us, get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code Bob and Tom at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code Bob and Tom. For 20% off your first box. I told the witch doctor to tell me what to do. Yeah, oh, that's covered by many. Uh, you now, what would it sound like if he was scatting? Zim. Wait, kind of. Uh, it's already there, really. I just realized. Uh, it would sound like ooh, ee, hoo, ha, 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 I'm sorry. What a dumb question. <laughs> really, really was. <laughs> when we come back, I promise this will finally get interesting. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my feet. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. Don't forget, Bob and Tom's store is open. BobandTomStore.com. Bob and Tom hoodies, hooded zips, collared work shirts, and the Bob and Tom show hat. My gosh, what are you waiting for? Head on over and check it out. The size is small, up to 5XL. We don't have your size. Always check back. We're constantly restocking at Bob and Tom's store. Dot com. Just look in the upper left-hand corner for that new tab to see the latest merchandise we have for you. Check it out, won't you? BobandTomStore.com. As we roll through a Monday, Reno Collier and Greg Warren on the way. The Warren Report. What will the topic be this week? We'll find out together. Stay tuned. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom Sports Update. The Boston Celtics are in the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals. They knocked out the defending champs 109-81, beating the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Dallas Mavericks cruise in Phoenix onto the Western Conference Finals. They build a 30-point halftime lead, a 123-90 blowout over the top seed Suns. Luka Doncic, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Jalen Brunson accounted for 89 points. In the NHL, the Rangers have completed their Stanley Cup first-round comeback from a three-game-to-one deficit, a 4-3 win last night, and winning the series in New York over the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Calgary Flames onto the second round following a 3-2 win over the Dallas Stars. Major League Baseball action, Interleague, Houston beat Washington, Seattle over the Mets, Kansas City beat Colorado. In the American League, Tampa Bay, Detroit, the Yankees, Minnesota, Texas, and the Angels all win. And in the National League, San Diego, Pittsburgh, Milwaukee, the Cubs, Dodgers, and St. Louis also win. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. We got some extra from the Bob and Tom Show. Comedian Greg Warren, former uh, state champion wrestler. You're the son of a wrestling coach. Now, I assume your dad was also your wrestling coach. Is yes. that correct? Yes, he was. He was a high school wrestling coach. So I wrestled, and my mom was into music, so I played the clarinet in the band, uh -huh. which uh, they made fun of me. Especially the guys on the wrestling team. Especially sure. my best friend Huey Baker. He was a uh, he was a black guy. Mm -hmm. He's one of those guys that would just get a hold of something and never shut up. <laughs> and like, Look at Greg, man. Greg played a flute. <laughs> it's, a, it's a clarinet, Huey. It's a flute, Greg. You a flute man. <laughs> Look at little flute man, Greg. Flute your flute, Greg. Little flute man, Greg. he will be on the bus going to a match. It'd be real quiet, and all of a sudden you hear hop. Two, three, four, what the hell are we fighting for? Flute man. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing when you're out there wrestling and you hear, hit him with your flute, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24 7. Before we go, yeah. Thought I'd tell you the true story of Susie Suzuki and. Sam Samer. Now, this is the true story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. As told by yours truly, Tom, Tom Whiskey, Whiskey Frontier, Frontier Doctor. Doctor. Yeah, good morning. Well, I never will forget it. Susie Suzuki 
had to get married at a very young age. Yeah. Uh, she was impregnated by her husband, Hyaston. She never really liked Hyaston, but they had 12 children. Now, Hyaston up and died, and Susie remarried. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll tell you, it was really something, because she married her true love, Sam Samurai. Oh, touching. Yep. With Sam, she had 12 more children. Wow. <laughs> well, finally, after many Dang. years, Susie died. I wonder why. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was standing right next to her at the funeral home. Well, next to her, her body. Mm -hmm. Two little old ladies were staring down at Susie with tears in their eyes. And the first little old lady said, well, <laughs> they're finally together. Second little old lady said, "Who, Susie and her first husband, or or Susie and Sam Samurai?" No, neither. Her legs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Augie Smith. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24/7. There's a lady in town. She's an Orthodox Jew, and she needs. To buy bread that is unleavened <laughs> But it's late and she knows That the stores are all closed <laughs> And she really needs to make a sandwich <laughs> And she's buying bread at seven <laughs> mm, and the bread is wonder. <laughs> That's my idea. Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey. There's Josh Arnold. At Hello. The sidekick chair celebrating his... 59th birthday. There's 44. Ace Cosby manning the track phone hotline. Hot phone. There's 59 Willie. in Godwin years. Willie, <laughs> Willie Griswold. Good morning. I mean, when Godwin years, it'd be 22. <laughs> <laughs> You're going the wrong way. Oh. Yes. I'm Chick McGee at the sports desk, and here's Tom. Thank you very much. I, uh, Pat, I understand. Uh, huge, huge show in uh, Washington, Iowa over yeah. the weekend. Lebowski's. Getting stellar reviews. Thank you. Uh, what a and, fun night. And... Uh, now, uh, Pat, you were telling me earlier. Oh, God. You, I'm sorry, I didn't I quite understand. You you had a guest with you? Who was it? Was well, your there, son to sing with you? No, no, there was a guy in the audience passed out and uh, sleeping during the show in a cowboy hat. And I would just reference him and call him Cowboy Bill, get a big laugh. And uh, he was out like a light. And uh, he did, then he woke up and goes, I want to sing. <laughs> oh, no, did it. And so I said, okay, come on up. I thought it might be funny. And he staggers up to the stage, gets one step, and goes all the way down. <laughs> Is he okay? He's okay. Yeah, like he crumpled. You know, he didn't get get hurt. Yeah. Then the owner and everybody picked him up. That took forever because he was really out of it. <laughs> they stood him up, and then I, he looked at me and goes, do you know Honey? And i just done Honey in the show. Oh, look right. at the great Bobby Goldsboro yeah. song, Honey, I Miss You. He, yeah. did, he did a parody of it and killed it. He did Booger. <laughs> booger. <laughs> booger, I miss you. <laughs> Wait, uh, he passed out and then still performed? He killed. Oh. <laughs> and he killed. So can we get a copy of Booger and perhaps recreate the moment? No, no. Fast forward to uh, next year at this time. Uh, Pat just uh, completed a, a, an amazing uh, <laughs> streak in uh, Tahoe, Nevada. And, uh, of course, his uh, new hit, Booger, I Miss You, <laughs> is uh, still still at the top of the chart. Now, while, while I'm at it, I should point out that uh, Mr. Godwin uh, is uh, the winner again of the International Songwriting Competition. Yes. More than 20,000 entries, and uh, your song, Greek Physique, from your one of your other albums, uh, yeah. that just came out last year, is was the winner. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, but the new album is called Captured Live, and it was released, what, Friday? Mm -hmm. Thursday? Okay, 13th, cool. yeah. And it's number four right now on the charts, as they say. That's great, the comedy chart. Uh, now, uh, Pat, since we're talking about you and to you, 
I wanted to read this news story, and perhaps, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you may Ooh. have. And I, you'll notice my Are, fingers. Is it that you're just not comfortable uh, <laughs> just talking with someone? Like, yeah, you have to tell you. them, tell people what we're talking about and who you're talking to, and someone's new to the show, perhaps. He had uh, to tell someone he's talking to that he was talking to them. Yes, about that. Well, since Pat, we're talking about you and to you. I uh, want you to know. Okay. You are here, uh, not a hologram. Man, you are. Built for radio, buddy. <laughs> the, well, there was a, well, a, a somewhat a miscommunication earlier in the show. Yes. Yeah, we got over this that. time, I think we have, I can uh, prepare you for this by reading this news story. All right. Uh, this is a sweet story, a happy story, so I don't want you guys ruining it. Oh. <laughs> Well, all right. All right. Uh, it involves some brave uh, men and women, firefighters in Tennessee. The situation was the um, Williamson Fire Rescue Crew was dispatched to a vehicle fire off Interstate 840. They put out the blaze. The occupants were a Mr. Myers Hart, his high school sweetheart, a Ms. Brooklyn Stevenson, and one of their friends. Mm. They were out of the burning car safely. And uh, what, the friend apparently went up to the firefighters and said uh, Mr. Hart had just purchased an engagement ring for Ms. Stevens. The engagement ring was still in the burning car. Mm -hmm. They were able to get the fire. But they discovered the scorched ring box inside the ring was not damaged. Right there on the site at that moment, Mr. Hart got down on one knee and proposed to Ms. Stevens. Perfect. And she said yes. So it's a happy, happy yes. story, which you guys pooped all over the other day, but I think uh, we can move forward now. Is a sweet story? That is a good story for us to poop on. <laughs> um, so. Our car is a burning thing. <laughs> and it eats up the engagement ring. Steaming hood and melting tires. I left the ring in a car on fire. <laughs> Firefighters broke into my burning car on fire. They hosed it down, down, down. It was hotter than a grease fryer. The box burned, burned, burned. <laughs> but the ring's not on fire. The ring's not on fire. Oh. All right. A salute. Cash. Salute. Uh, from Patty Cash to, uh, to Johnny Cash. Thank you very much, Pat. <laughs> and uh, now we return. And I sang to, that uh, about uh, that story okay. to you guys. <laughs> Final four in the NBA set. Uh, Celtics in the heat. Uh, Mavericks and the Dubs. Mavericks blow out the Suns in Phoenix last night. A very surprising result. And the Celtics had a Boston three party. They hit 22 <laughs> in the game. So. And the NHL, the Rangers have completed their Stanley Cup first round comeback. Three game to one deficit. Uh, they uh, four three winners over the Pens last night. The Penguins, practically chickens there in New York, and the Calgary Flames are on the second on to the second round following a three two win over the Dallas Stars. That one happening. Oh, like two in, overtimes, yeah, and two oh, game sevens, two, two exciting game sevens, both go overtime. The NHL, they've always said the best playoffs among uh, the major sports, and I, I think I think people are right, Tom. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I, 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 I just want to, the guy Booger when he came up. To do the song, honey, did did he play the guitar? No, no, he just stood there and sang, and I was glad he didn't fall down again. Oh, so you 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 picked it. <laughs> okay, back to you. <laughs> Where you're going? Hey. You Accompanied. Picked a, Pat picked another man's burger. Picked, a, picked yeah. another man's burger. <laughs> yep, that's that's exactly what, he's, what he's trying to say. Uh, the Oklahoma Sooners uh, football team have signed a new quarterback, and the recruit's name is General Booty. ESPN reports he's 6'3", 195, sophomore out of Tyler Junior College in Tyler, Texas. He'll have three years of eligibility remaining in Oklahoma. General Booty General is Booty. the son of former LSU receiver Abram Booty, who said General's name stems from his fascination with the military. I'll be darned. Or just information in general. <laughs> <laughs> in general. <laughs> Booty. General told the Dallas Morning News back in 2020, obviously my name's an attention grabber and people like to do head lines with it. I'm kind of a big deal. I can't wait to make my mark on the world. Excuse me. I really think Reader something about place. myself. <laughs> Sorry. How long was I off? <laughs> Actually, he said, people like to do uh, headlines with it, but I like to show people with my play that I can back it up. I've done that. I'm going to continue to do that as well. I give them a reason to remember my name. Remember my name. Hey. <laughs> What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Remember. Laughing like there was some comedy. <laughs> I know. I know. 
<laughs> Such an evil laugh, too. Give me that booty. Show me the booty. Yeah. Give me the booty. I want the booty. Back up the booty. I need the booty. I like the booty. Oh, General what a booty. booty. Shaking that booty. General I want the booty. booty. I a little bit of Tim booty. Wilson, Lord, the booty. 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 Bring on the booty. Um, Get the booty. Loving the booty round. His name is, his. that's his actual first name is General? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's a... Major Applewhite, General Booty, who else? Uh, so there's the guy, there's Major, the newscaster. I don't know that. I was trying to do football players, but I Major, don't know. Major Ass, is that him? Was it Major Garrett? Is that the guy's name? I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Major Ass, I know. Yeah. 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 Well, his mother, yeah. Alotta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alotta, Lovely lady. A lot of booty. Yeah. Um, okay, I feel like I gotta get out of here. This is gonna be. Is he a rear admiral? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, there's a question there for you, Chuck. Rear, Tom's, is he a rear admiral? Will you please answer the man? Uh, get a general be an admiral. The same time. Well, if he is, it should be. They misnamed it. It should be uh, General Booty instead of Rear Admiral. Well, the, right? the, the play by play is gonna be interesting. Oh, is it? Uh, going after the booty. Man, they hit that booty hard after the game. <laughs> oh, pri private booty sounds like something in the champagne. Pain Lounge, a strip club. Oh, oh booty is bleeding. Oh, oh. No, nothing from old Tommy on that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Booty's down. Oh, no. He's down, Jim. Oh, oh Jim. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, my uh -oh. gosh. Uh -oh. $17 million a year for that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> look what time it is. What time is Stupid it? Stupid world record. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Excited, are you, John? I love this. Ah, a teenager has broken the Guinness World Record. I don't believe this world record. <laughs> okay. okay, you're flat out right I, on his back. I don't believe it. All right. I am do right now. I am doing my job. Yeah. I have removed myself from the story. Okay. <laughs> Evidently, he set a world record for the fastest time to solve three Rubik's cubes while juggling them. Okay. I impossible. don't believe it. Impossible. Uh, Angel Alvarado, Bogota, Colombia. <laughs> I mean, I'd maybe believe it if it was 18 hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, so hang on. Uh, he earned the title with an official time of juggling three Rubik's Cubes and solving them in 31 seconds. No I'm sorry. way. I'm sorry. Four minutes, 31. Oh. Still! Four minutes, 31 seconds. I don't, that's insane. Do so you have to throw them real high I so you can watch the... You'd have to have the time. Can he look at them and examine all of them for like a minute or two before he starts? Is that part of it? I I would think so, but I don't know. Wow. I don't know. I don't understand. Say. I couldn't do any of this. His old record. Right, yeah. I couldn't juggle them, A, B, solve any of them, he even beat, while sitting down. <laughs> he had the previous record of four minutes, 52 seconds, and now he's four minutes, 31 seconds. Let's see him do the Cracker Barrel Peg game, then we'll talk. Oh, yeah. He's proven time and time, know, time again to be an ignoramus. <laughs> I know there's a trick to that damn thing. And when yeah, I there is a trick. Out, it's I, all where you start. And when I find out, I'm going to travel the country. It's nice to have a story out of Colombia that isn't a drug bust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't know what was in those cubics. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, no. Okay. Here's a video of this guy. Oh, sorry. Turn the volume down. They have bad music on it. Um, I liked it. It was kind of dramatic. Okay. Wait a minute. It just shows him. It shows him. He did. They they set the Rubik's cubes down. He doesn't even get to look at. It. He just grabs them. Hmm. And, and then, he's only throwing them like head high. Like it's not like. So it's just like throw twist, throw twist, throw twist. Right. He's as he catches them, he's moving them, or he's moving the the piece the uh, sections of them with his thumb. Would you say that it was kind of throw twist, throw twist, throw twist, throw twist, throw twist? Throw, 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 is that sort of how it went? <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's Wait impossible. a minute, I missed that. How did it go again? I'm just wondering if oh. it was throw twist, throw twist, throw twist, throw twist, throw twist. <laughs> okay, this guy, this kid's a genius. Well, I mean, this is impossible. I don't know if it makes him a genius. It makes him a freak. I know that, but yeah, I mean, there's a chance he can't even spell his own no, name. No, apply this to uh, solving the world's problems. Get this guy. His name is Angel. It's amazing. Um, a very fine world record. Is, the, is that sports? Yes, Tom. It's so okay. Awesome. Very good. Thank you very much. Hey, Rocky, oh. this is what you farted for. Whatever you go, whatever you do, Bro. always. Bro, twist. Be a good sport. Bro. Christy. Students at John Hopkins University have created edible burrito tape. What's happening? <laughs>
Oh, gosh. I'm putting you out of your misery early because he's going to promote this all morning. I don't. This is a great story. You you didn't give it any of the... What's uh, going on? You buried the the lead. So to hold the burrito together, they tape it? Edible burrito tape. And that tape is edible. A group of students at the Whiting School of Engineering developed an edible tape that keeps ingredients tucked tightly inside during cooking and consumption. Are you sure this isn't the whitest university that's making tape for burritos? (laughs) They're calling it Tasty Tape. Student Tyler Guerrero said... All its ingredients are safe to consume, are food grade, and are common food and dietary additives. He added, Tasty Tape allows you to put full faith in your tortilla and enjoy your meal mess-free. The group is currently applying for a patent. So, are you gluing your burrito (laughs) together with the tape? It looks like a Band-Aid. Obviously, it's not... (laughs) I I ma- imagine a burrito and where that where it would unfold. I can't think of anything more disgusting than the burrito, a, a band aid and a burrito. Well, no, it doesn't look like. I mean, it's a small. <laughs> you just piece said a band aid. It, well, it's like a small piece of tape. Yeah. That tapes together the burrito, so it doesn't unfurl. I mean, most oh, don't. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Most well, don't. A good made, a well made burrito yeah. no, won't no, do that. No, no. I... A good made burrito. <laughs> a goodly constructed. I thought by reading the story that they had made this burrito tape and it would be like like uh, fruit roll ups. So you'd have a like an edible burrito roll up that you could just eat. No. Imagine a burrito. Here it and, is. And just, if you took a band aid. Right, no, yeah. I get it. Yeah. An edible band aid and put it on there. No, that's. So disappointed stupid. with how Tom presented yeah, it. I know, the, right? How he, how he teased yeah. the story. Yeah. Okay, I thought you'd enjoy it. I know that you've never turned down a burrito. And I thought <laughs> no. one, that's, one that would be somewhat less messy, so you wouldn't have to change shirts after you ate. It would be something you'd. <laughs> Josh, of course, likes to eat his, eat his burritos you know? over a plate of chips. Oh, look, I have nachos. You know, I, that's I, exactly how you do it. That's a genius idea. Yeah, what? And also, who turns down a burrito? No, no yeah. not burritos. You know, he likes to say he's joking or he's... Ma- Can you imagine what he really thinks of us? Oh, uh, yeah, I know. It's just frightening. <laughs> I think this is fantastic. I, a, a well-made burrito won't do that. It won't unwrap. This, this, it's unnecessary. I agree. Do they make this for rolling joints? No, but I have actually kind of perfected this. If you take some tape and you like, clip off the adhesive side of a, of, of a paper, you can make a little joint Band-Aid. I should have patented that years ago. I've been doing it since, like, 2011. Uh, it, nice. d- is it true that people who can roll a good joint can, can roll a pretty good burrito? Is this, I think so. Is it's the, the same simple, technique. Similar skill. All, the, the main thing is you want to really roll it. You have it. to fold yeah. the end is the key. And you got to tuck it. you got to tuck it. Yes. And then you got to just kind of roll it. It's a, it's, a, it's a literal rolling motion. Does that make sense? I'm doing it. Absolutely. No, yeah. Do burrito. they make a smokable tape for rolling joints? Is it like a... I don't know. I, I I just think it's the ad- adhesive side. So like you always see people in the, and they always take them and they put them in their mouth and. Hey, let's not make that sound again. Okay, <laughs> I'll I'll do it with a straw. So you can see there's Christy. No, we don't need you. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a half centimeter at the end of a rolling paper that you can lick so it sticks to itself. Right. And you can just cut it off and use it as tape. But I don't know any. Oh, I see what sell you're saying. I yeah. think okay. we may have come up with a great idea. Yeah. So when they do those giant spliffs. Those are the huge ones, right? Spliffs is pot and tobacco rolled together. A blunt is the pot and a cigar. Okay, well. Um, Cigarello. Okay, but again, this is, uh, once again, f- f- uh, food-grade tape. I hope they don't get the patent. Uh, all their time I think, and- do you think maybe if it wasn't for burritos, if it was for tacos, it would be better? No. Where would, you ta- where, where, where would you use it? I get a tape of taco Like together. a bottom part so it doesn't split down the center? I mean, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'm just enjoying Christy saying, how would you take a taco? I can't even say it. It's so funny. How are you going to tape, tape a taco together? <laughs> well, first of all, well, sick. Well, in the summer, you don't really need the tape. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a hot car? Moisture access is blue. Because <laughs> uh, you know, a taco, you see, you could... You could Sort of put two straps on the top like suspenders and give it a little more <laughs> give it a little more structure. <laughs> Tacos get a little messy. Not everything needs to be so clean all the time. Look, ask these fellows from Johns Hopkins University. I think it's a great idea. Be honest. When they, you saw this burrito, the, this edible tape story, mm-hmm. did you say to yourself, "Oh boy"? Did you say that? I love the story. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. Have you seen the picture? The, 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 it's it's black in color. Yeah, so we, it looks I saw like a picture. bandage on it. I know it should be. Don't you think you should go with something more? <laughs> more burrito color. Um, more burrito. Yeah. 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 
or maybe red, like yeah. chips, or the way we make the way we make band aids in our culture to match any tone of skin. Oh, we're on that topic now. Oh, oh, okay. here we go. go ahead, Tom. I'm sure you'll approach this delicately. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. It's a good thing. Delicately it is a good thing. Yeah. There was a, a, a wonderful company on Shark Tank that just came out. Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah. 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 Smart move. Um. So, uh, Broundages, they're called. What? Are you yeah. Serious? I'm being dead serious. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a wonderful company. Okay, that's exactly good. what it was. Yeah. Uh, you know that, um, Christy, those stickers on apples? Yes. Edible. No, they're not. <laughs> <It's> they are. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. Are not those edible. have to be applied with a machine, right? There's I would not some think. poor guy putting a sticker on each apple. Well, there's a stickerman. A stickerman? <laughs> yes. My job. Are, are you serious? Yes. Stickerman oh. was Seinfeld's next door neighbor. Also. It's like the I Love Lucy episode with the chocolates. That's They're right. Just, doo, 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 so you don't like edible tape as an idea? I think it'd be good for lots of things. For what? Um, foie gras. It would actually be duck tape. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Very good. I'm no, no, no. I thought we were having a conversation. No. I thought we were talking. You know what you put on haggis, right? What? Scotch tape. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Hey, be careful. You might get a tapeworm. Oh. I don't know. A tapeworm! Hey! You remember edible tape. You had a cassette player in your car. Remember? Oh, <laughs> oh, man. They, oh, my they God. They would eat the tape for sure. <laughs> That's why I liked 8-tracks, because you could uh, you could actually repair the 8-track. Get it out of the box. Yeah, they were wide enough. Splice, could, it, yeah. splice it together and put it back together. It was amazing. Okay, well, uh, congratulations to the just gents from um, nope. Johns Hopkins University. We're for wasting this. our time. I, as I can see a Nobel in their future. Once again, it's... Uh, no bell, no whistle, no... Tasty bell. tape, I believe it's called. <laughs> the first uh, tape for burritos. Okay. I think it's well, really so, so saving the world there, folks. Okay. <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate your hard work. Uh, John and, uh, coming up, we have what, Christy Lee? Oh, we have a lot of great things coming up. We have pee for peonies. We have a suspension bridge. We have a giraffe fitted with an orthotic. We have all kinds of great That's stories. funny. Hey, giraffe. Can you imagine a, ne a giraffe in a neck brace? That's funny. <laughs> but, Just a pool noodle. But giraffes, their necks is too long. Right? No, far too long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> They're just dumb looking. Uh, also, a, a couple requests, a little bit of something from Donnie Baker. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Everything about the show is at bobandtom.com. Check it out now. State law. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. I've got this new venture. It's called Say It to My Face. Oh. Pretty God. <laughs> cool. Huh. Hey, Josh, let's say someone talks smack about you on Facebook yeah. or Twitter. Sure. And the first thing you do is you call me, then I go to their house. And when they answer the door, I just yell, Say It to My Face. <laughs> and then I'll jack them with a blood dart right to the larynx. <laughs> And Christy, you and your ladies yes. don't got to worry either because I got you covered too. See, my friend Tasha and I are launching an all female company called Oh No You Didn't. <laughs> well, it's hard to spell it on the radio, but in print, it's badass. It's all hymenated. Hymenated? Yep. So the next time some chick, you know, calls another chick an obese whale when you post your porta potty selfie on Instagrams. Just give me and Tasha a call. She'll go to that chick's house and slap the spit out of her while screaming, Oh, no, you didn't! <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some light bug, some light for me. 
Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. Lots of chances to see live comedy coming up, including Donnie Baker this Thursday, May 19th through May 21st at the Blue Room in Springfield, Missouri, and thatjoshearnold.com to find out more information about his show at Catch Tories in Ilion, New York, with Willie Griswold coming up Saturday, May 21st. Also, Willie Griswold, as I said, will be along with Josh Arnold. And you got your Greg Warren. He's on his way to the Looney Bin in Little Rock, Arkansas. That's coming up Wednesday, June 1st through Saturday, June 4th. And speaking of Greg Warren, he'll be along with the Warren Report this morning on a Monday. GregWarrenComedy.com for more. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Entertainment News Desk. Amber Heard is expected to take the witness stand Monday for a third day of testimony in a libel suit filed against her by her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. The high-profile trial is resuming after a one-week hiatus. Jurors have already heard four weeks of testimony. Heard has already spent two days on the witness stand and still has not been cross-examined by Depp's lawyers. After the 2020 Cannes Film Festival was canceled by the pandemic and the 2021 edition was scaled back, The lavish French Riviera Cinema Soiree is set to return with a festival that promises to be something more normal, or at least Cannes' version of normal, where for 12 days, formal wear and film mingle in sun-dappled splendor and standing ovations stretch for minutes on end. This year's festival, which starts Tuesday, features the star power of Tom Cruise, a splashy new Elvis Presley biopic, and a long list of world-renowned auteurs. And speaking of movies, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness stayed on top of the box office charts in its second weekend in release. Studio estimates Sunday say the Marvel film earned an additional $61 million from North American theaters. Add that to global grosses at $688 million worldwide. Already one of the highest grossing films of the pandemic and the second biggest of 2022. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hey, Shooter, it's Kenny Tarmac. Hey, we just landed. I'm an ORD, just got in from TPA through ATL. And hey, guess what else just landed? The Bob and Tom app. I know, I know. Now, thanks to the Bob and Tom app, even if I have to go all the way from Foxtrot 20 down to Alpha 4, I can still listen live, see their videos, find an affiliate station, use the alarm, and even send a message. This is Kenny Tarmac signing off and reminding you everything I touch turns to sold. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Boy, better get up, get some extra time. Little Diddy. About Jack Bowers' plan <laughs> To try and stop the nerve gas attack By the mean Russian man <laughs> Jack is hiding in the ductwork Crawling around <laughs> Then it pops up, pulls his gun, shouting Everybody down! <laughs> Jack is just trying to keep America free But tell him a lie And he'll shoot your wife right in the knee <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the intel No matter the cause he gonna give the witness to that German dude who was on loss. <laughs> Jack and said, Chloe, I'll blow them schematics to my PDA. Gonna put my jacket hood on, hold my breath, and save the day. Jack and said, Oh yeah, life goes on. Long after they set off the nerve gas bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, I said, life goes on. Long after Michelle, Tony, and Egg are gone. Little Diddy, about Jack Bowers' plan. Gonna whisper, then shout some, then whisper again. <laughs> Curtis, where are you? Tell me about Mr. Cooper. Tell me about <laughs> Mr. Cooper. <laughs> Get in the chopper now. I said I wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7. I'm mean, this is Donnie Biker, and this is Bob and Tom 24-7. I swear to God. <laughs> 
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. Josh Arnold at the sidekick chair. Hi there. Celebrating his birthday. My 44th year on this planet Look Earth. Look at that 44 trips around the sun. No. <laughs> we get the gift because you're here. Oh, Christy, thank you. You are a thank gift you. to oh, everyone. Barf here, okay. There's Ace Cosby. You know, we do have a... Uh, we do have a little surprise coming up. Willie oh, Griswold is over there. Yo. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Uh, now, um, see if you can identify this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a little something. Uh, you'll see this references something we just mentioned. It's somewhat obscure. Please push the button. Anybody? There's a place right across town. Anybody? No. Any, uh, it's familiar, but it I don't is know familiar. I don't know what, what we were talking about. Yeah. It's, it's really, really nice. A little more. Here you go. Around, ready. Maybe you'll get it here. What? Monkey time. Huh? Never heard it. When were we talking about monkeys? When were we talking about we monkeys? We were talking I mean, about I know I, uh, General. <laughs> I know I daydream. Who, who are we talking about? A, a man whose name General is... General Booty? General, General Booty. His real name is General Booty. Yeah. This song is from Major Lance. <laughs> so Josh is walking, Chick is walking, just me, Christy, and Ace, and Pop The only left. reason I'm not Pat's walking here. is I'm too lazy to get up. Pat's <laughs> leaning back. What the hell? You never heard of Major Lance? No. Okay. No one has. All right. You know, if people have made <laughs> Tom cleared the room. On Josh's birthday, no less. You do this to him. Okay, and then Major Garrett is an NBC News announcer. Shut up about him! Okay. Well, have to hear Nobody's him. seen him, but you. Uh, how about this? Are we going to hear Major Tom now, too? <laughs> oh, ground control to Major Tom. Oh, Major Tom. God. How about um, Sergeant Shriver? How about him? Mm -hmm. How about him? No one cares. Let's sit through a whole song. And then... My Lord. Are you ready? Hey, we're ready. Are you ready for we're ready. We're ready. this in sports, you had a story about a guy. Josh. What, what's his real name? Josh is going to have a heart attack. General Booty something. His, his actual name is General Booty. So naturally, you have the you feel that you need to mention everyone that you know about. No, I, the people who have the name of a rank in a military first. I don't know if there's anybody named Corporal, but Sergeant Shriver is certainly famous. <laughs> no, oh. not not really. I bet three percent know who Sergeant Shriver was. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Well, well, well. Kennedy clan. Uh, how about this guy? How about this guy? See if this works. <laughs> Sorry. Well done. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know this guy. It's, uh, Major Harris, right? Major Harris. Yeah. Here's the thing about Major Harris. What, my first radio station had a little baby DJ in Welch, West Virginia. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Our evening guy. Shut up. <laughs> You don't want to hear Major Harris? No, we've You're fascist. Out. Major Harris doesn't want to hear Major Harris. <laughs> so, our evening guy, Earl Rogers. Yes. He called him the E. Yeah. And uh, he promoted a concert, ran commercials, <laughs> sold tickets, and didn't pay the station anything. <laughs> I had the same guy. It was the most brilliant act I've ever seen and in my life. And the concert life. was Major Harris? Yes, and Major Harris was the act, and it, it killed. <laughs> oh, that's great. It was at the Welch Armory. We had yeah. the same guy. The guy you, you and I have parallel lives. Oh, God, it was amazing. Our, our, our night guy what was um, uh, Lance Williams. Mm -hmm. And he would, he wouldn't even tell the manager because the manager never listened to the radio station. He would do stuff on the side of his own, but he had a jing, they, what they called a jingle package, Pat. Yeah, where they you know, they get the real good singers. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Lance Williams. Except when they made it, they mis. Read it and he paid a lot of money and they just did Lance William <laughs> without the S. without the S. So he'd go Lance. <laughs> <laughs> he had the S himself. Yes, he's the one that famously explained to me the um, why he Please opened stop. his. Okay, don't. 
Don't, don't do this. Please you know, don't. It's a true story. We all know Doesn't what you're matter. talking about. Oh, I, I don't know the story. Is yes, it? you do. But I it don't was know. Re referencing the brand of cigarettes he smoked and all oh, that. Yeah. Why, why he opened it open from them. the bottom? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> May have been a thing, but who cares? It involved uh, certain juices he didn't oh, want to get on the filter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're really just... <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, you guys can't handle the truth. He doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we care because we still have mortgages. Well, I bet. Oh, it's just the biggest smile. That was Major Lance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know why he, what you got against Major Lance. Was yeah, a because nice no song. one's ever heard of Major Lance. He's a great singer. Well, that's Major Harris, isn't yes. it? Yes, but the point is, <laughs> yeah. you've never heard of Major Lance? No. Uh, He's the Lucky uh, Time. It's a famous song. Isn't no. Major Lance? Correct oh, me if I'm wrong, a... but Major Lance is the snack cracker king, is he not? Oh, I love the Lance crackers. <laughs> sure. You got some Lance crackers. You got. Uh, I'm not familiar butter. with Lance crackers. Oh, we have them in the green. We room. have them. Oh, right good. Yeah. We've yeah. got cream, cream cheese and chive. We've, oh, if yeah. we're doing this, what about Walter? Cheese? What about Walter Lance? Who's that? Uh -huh. Oh, Walter. Lance. Woody Woodpecker. Oh, okay. I'm sure, you know, My God. I'm sure, Josh, when you hear Woodpecker, I'm sure it's it some random porno you have. That's in right, yeah. of course. Yeah, I hear Woodpecker. Seymour Woodpecker. Or I think of Seymour. Are there any Why famous wouldn't? rappers AVN named Lance? <laughs> um, the basketball player Lance Stevenson has released a few rap songs. Okay. They're actually pretty good. Hmm. Born Ready. Lance Bass. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, he likes to go to space, right? Or is he an astronaut? Or isn't he right? Well, no, you're sort of he right. Is <laughs> Why isn't that caught on? Caught on? What? Hey, that guy's a real astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Thing, you might be right? like 40 years too late for that joke, Jake. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> well, visits your right uh, Let's oh, see now. Okay. Yeah. I knew where you were going with that. Yeah, I love that. Right. Thank you for that enlightening few minutes. <laughs> Major uh -oh. oh, this will help. Hello, Bob and Tom show. Oh, dear God, please make him stop talking about Major Lance, because next thing you know, he'll bring up Sergeant Peppers, and that'll lead into the damn Beatles. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Yep. Oh, sorry, I dozed off. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. How are you? <laughs> Uh, right off the bat, i got to tell you guys, I'm a little out of sorts. Not because of Tom going down Major Lance oh. Boulevard, but my lead bass player, Todd Boner, yeah. he he went to the doctor this past week, got some bad news. Oh, no, I don't want to hear that. What is it? Well, the doctor said he has a... Um, wait, hold on a second. I'll write it down. It's called um, hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis. What, what does that mean? I don't know. Well, at first, I was worried it meant he had rabies again, Tom. Oh. And everybody who's seen O.D. Elder knows how that ends. I was afraid, you know, his follow-up appointment with the doc would be on some farm behind a barn. But hyperhidrosis is way different than that. It's a fancy doctor way to say somebody um, sweats like a pig. Uh, oh. I don't think pigs actually sweat, do they? Okay, Dr. Dick, how many hogs you see in each year? Well, I... I swear to God. Anyways, halfway through our set this weekend, Boner looked like he'd been dropped in a dunk tank at the Sorensen County Fair. <laughs> and the doctor said sometimes this sweat thing runs in families regular, which makes sense, I guess, because Boner's mother always looked like she was in a wet T-shirt contest. He when she woke up, you know, which was okay because she was sort of hot. The nipple edge was fire ass hot. But there was an odor issue which balanced it out. <laughs> Anyways, it turns out it ain't serious. The doctor said Boner just has to carry some paper towels regular or a sponge and maybe a mop bucket wherever he goes. Wow. <laughs> And by the way, the sweating gets worse when he gets nervous. Like when he tries to meet a hot chick that he thinks is hot. Mm -hmm. and that's why I, him, I took a new picture for his new Tinder profile. Oh, that's I had to Photoshop the picture with a beach and an ocean, you know, just to sort of explain away all the sweat. Wow. It was either that or an electric chair, because the comp you serve only gives you two options. <laughs> Anyways, i got to go interview some groupies. I might need to find a chick to be responsible for telling off the all-new Mr. Boner each night after our gig. <laughs> Where do you go? I'm going to go. My daughter. Hydrodosis. What, what is I don't that? know. It's, um, it's He's sweaty. sweaty. Well, well, we're sweating when we come back, Christy. We have um, an interesting update in the world of um, fertilizer and a lawsuit involving um, a, a guy and his wife that are suing their son because he won't have grandkids. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, I'm Morty Gleckman for Casket Carnival. It's a Casket Carnival. You won't lose your shirt. It's a Casket Carnival. When we shovel on the dirt, we'll make sure you're really safe before we stick you in the rain. We won't stay up here. Casket Carnival. We've got lots of games and prizes, and since many of our coffins are scratch and dent or gently used models, we pass the savings on to you at Casket Carnival. And don't forget to say hello to our lovable mascot, Embalmo the Clown. Hey, yeah, there, uh, thanks for coming to the Casket Carnival. You're really going to dig our prices there. Don't forget to ask about our layaway plan, huh? Eh? Hey, geez, what's wrong with these people? I'm dying up here, huh? Eh? Uh, at the cremation station, we want to earn your business. You know, sometimes I wish I were. Dead. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah! This is Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. Good morning, Mark Allison with you rolling through a Monday morning. It is May the 16th. Again, happy birthday to Josh Arnold. My gosh, he's been with us nearly six years, and we just can't get enough of the guy. There he is in the sidekick chair. And again, Josh Arnold with a great birthday celebration today. You know Tom's going to have a nice cake for Josh can't wait to find out what it's going to be. We'll find out together. Don't worry. It is coming. Comedian Greg Warren as well and Reno Collier with a look at Today in History with Tom Griswold all on the way on a Monday. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning. I'm Mark Allison. With things you may have missed, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has blasted officials over slow medicine deliveries and ordered his military to respond to the largely undiagnosed COVID-19 crisis that has left 1.2 million people ill with fever, 50 dead in just a matter of days. More than 500,000 people in quarantine due to the fever. Eight more deaths, nearly 393,000 newly detected fevers reported Monday. It's not known how many COVID-19 since North Korea likely lacks enough test kits. It's also not clear if North Korea's urgent messaging about the outbreak indicates a willingness to receive outside help. It is shunned vaccines from a un back program china and south korea say they're willing to help but indicated north korea has yet to request any help oil giant saudi aramico says its profits soared by more than 80 percent in the first three months of the year as the state-backed company cashes in on the volatility in global energy markets soaring oil prices following russia's invasion of ukraine the bumper first quarter earnings announced Sunday by the firm formerly known as the Saudi Arabian Oil Company show a record net income of $39.5 billion, up $21.7 billion during the same period last year. Already resurgent economic activity and the relaxation of global coronavirus restrictions had revived demand for hydrocarbons and delivered strong annual results for the state-backed company last year, recently passing Apple as the highest income company in the world. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Hey, folks. <laughs> Boom. It's me. And you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. That's 24 days and 7 hours. No, 27 days a week and 24 like the show with, with the guy who whispers all the time and saves the world. And Bob and Tom 24-7. <laughs> it won't blow up the world. Yes, it's time now for another exciting episode. Oh, no. Of, of Murray Whiskey, Frontier Funeral Director. Oh, no. My hero. In this episode, Murray Whiskey has just gotten married. Hmm. And he brings his beautiful new wife to their honeymoon room, their suite. Mm-hmm. They're getting undressed on their wedding night there. Murray Whiskey drops his trousers, throws them over to his new little bride, just put those on. 
She looks at him incredulous. He says, go ahead, put them on. She puts on the trousers. She says, they're too big. I, I can't wear these. Mary Whiskey says, that's right. Remember that. I wear the pants in this family. Don't you ever forget that. She says, fine. She takes off her panties. She throws them over to Mary Whiskey. She says, you put those on. He tries. She says, you made me do it. You've got to do it. He says, okay. So he tries to get them on. Can't do it. He says, I can't even get these past my thighs. He says, I can't get into these panties. He says, yeah, and until you change your attitude, you're not going to either, partner. <laughs> A true tale from the Old West. That concludes another exciting episode. Uh, Murray, Murray Whiskey. Murray Whiskey. <laughs> Frontier, Frontier pyromaniac idiot. over here. What are you, <laughs> you're lighting up the studio, Yeah, Bob? this thing, it's not working. Uh, I'm sorry. Nothing. Uh, just... Brought to you by that new Japanese-Jewish restaurant, Sosumi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello, Chick. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold, birthday boy, at the sidekick chair. Yeah. There's Ace Cosby manning the track phone hotline hot phone. Hey. That is that just. <laughs> There's Willie My Griswold. Hearing. Yeah, well, it's no monkey time. <laughs> but go hey, ahead. Man. Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Tommy. And once again, we played a little bit of monkey time. Why, <laughs> Chick? No one's heard that song. I don't know, Tom. <sighs> The song is familiar to me. I'd never heard of the... I didn't know Major Lance. Is yeah, that Major it? Lance. There was a Major Harris. We were talking about people whose first names are ranks in the military. Yes, you, you were. This letter. Yeah, you yes, were. you certainly were. Uh, this is from anonymous woman who does not want her name. My son is in the fourth grade, has a schoolmate whose first name is Captain. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you know, people name their kids all kinds oh, of stuff. Oh, you were so flustered, you punched your own microphone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I mean... I don't it, think you are. It's, um... <laughs> uh, Major Lance, uh... It was written by Curtis Mayfield. It's a great song. It, it is reached fun. Yeah. number two on the R&B chart. Monkey time? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Again with this. Night, nice horns. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just hold that note, fellas. Wait a second. Dean, you've heard this song, right? 1963. No? I never heard yeah. I've heard this don't song. Don't you ever listen to the oldies station? No. I do. I don't have that service. <laughs> well, maybe there's lots of oldie stations out there. Uh, you know, there are fine, uh, fine music made in the last, let's yeah. say, this century. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of good stuff check happening. Some stuff out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, that was. Pat, you've heard Monkey Time. Right? I have not. You know, it was a different century. <sighs> Halfway through the last century. You know, well, you're missing out. I'm surprised that hasn't been on a movie. <laughs> Yeah, it would be in a movie. the name of the movie be? From 1963. Yes. No, no, sure no. it was no. in an episode of The Wonder Years. <laughs> what about, all, these, uh, all, no. these, all these contemporary movies are always grabbing a song I'm and they put it in there sure, to set, set I'm, the tone of a date. I'm pretty sure this was uh, the um, uh, <laughs> national anthem in Planet of the Apes, wasn't it? Monkey, <laughs> Monkey <laughs> Naturally, yes. That, that would be so funny. Just Monkey a brief, time. A brief it's scene. a great song. That's Major Lance, uh, once again, of course, uh, Major Harris. Of we course. Major uh, a player named General Booty, so we have to do this now. <laughs> I thought it was fun. General Booty, what a cool name. I'm, I'm hoping this guy does great. Where's he going to be going? I don't know. Oklahoma. Uh, there, thank you. See? So you can get a jersey that says Booty on the back? You don't. Can, uh, I don't know. Mm. I don't know do what the Do they put college is. players' names on the back? Sure. Well, uh, uh, depends some. On the some. Now, would you wear a Booty uh, jersey? Yeah. Do you think you'd get ribbed for it for people that weren't really familiar with it? They think you were just some jackass wearing. That is the creep? Yeah, I'm sure they would. I okay. think I was just a okay. creep. It's a shame that quarterbacks <laughs> can't wear the number 69 because booty 69 would be an awesome jersey. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Probably get one made if you. They should change the rules. So desire. That'd probably help. I thought you. they did. I thought you could pick any number you wanted anymore. Really? I don't know. Where I don't did think I hear so. that? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Uh, now, um, we need to move forward here, Christy. You are at your post, your base, which of course yes. is the news desk. Have we missed anything? A pair of University of Michigan professors are pushing a program called P for Peonies. It's a plan to divert human urine waste. Professors Nancy Love and Krista Wigington have been trying to educate the public about their research showing that applying fertilizer derived from nutrient-rich urine... Oh, so wait, I'm sorry. It's peonies, right? Peonies. They're peonies. I, I've always said peonies, but They're I've heard... Oh, well, I thought said peonies. That'd be awful. What? <laughs> I like yeah, but your, that's not the, I, said I like your dog. That's not the yeah, story. Can I, may I pee on your dog? <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> my favorite flower. Peony? Do you think the There's phrase may peonies. I pee on your dog peonies. has ever been uttered before? <laughs> <laughs> may I? You're yeah. so polite. May I? Okay. Just I, have I, never. I just have one question before I say goodnight. <laughs> may I pee on your dog? <laughs> what? No. Is one guy walking around the dog park? <laughs> Let's play it. How do you pronounce it? Peonies. Oh. How do you? Okay. You could have a fun word game with peonies. <laughs> Urine contains essential nutrients yes. such as nitrogen. Yes, you child. It's potassium. almost penis. I can't believe it. And phosphorus. And you ever heard that phrase before, Jay? <laughs> almost a penis? Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's That's just right. like one of these smaller. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you didn't need to add that. I guess you can call that a penis. It stuff so like implied. that. Sorry. So what you've actually that? heard it as peonies? I don't know. I've never I've, seen it. What are they? You've flowers. Met, they're flowers. They're very little. We both they're thought my favorite that. flower. <laughs> we Tom and I both thought it was pe peonies. Peonies? They're peonies. They are peonies, I mean, Matt. Oh, is that oh, peonies? No. I'm confused now. <laughs> peonies. No, it's peonies. You've seen them. They're very fragrant. They come. They have. Well, especially after you piss on them. Extraordinarily <laughs> <laughs> fragrant. I'm sorry. So this is the <laughs> University of Michigan. What's they're growing? Peonies, what are peonies? peonies. Mm -hmm. How is this so hard for you? I don't. I'm sorry. I, how do you know about monkey time and not? Because that's peonies. a great song. I don't. I'm not a. I'm He's not a the florist. The guy alive. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're lovely. I'll, I'll Google it real quick. <laughs> Here's a picture of a peony. I know you've seen them. They're, they oh, they're nice. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. Peonies, you hillbilly. God. <laughs> I was not. So peonies. I'm sorry. So they're they're peeing on the pe peonies. Peeing on the peonies. Okay, pe pe <laughs> not the Pekingese. <laughs> here's here's Pat the with the song. You have to shut up. Here's Pat with the song. I don't know if I can pull this off now. <laughs> Are you rhyming it with Zamboni the whole time? <laughs> Tinkle in the garden oh. by the tulips. That is where I'll be. Come tinkle on the peonies with me. It's just hard. <laughs> Careful in the garden. The fertilizer is a dump from me. And tinkle on the peonies with me. Ouch. Ah, yeah. Next verse, yeah. make it dump on the daffodils. There you go. <laughs> dump on the daffodils now. Oh. Crap yes. on the chrysanthemums. <laughs> I thought daffodils was uh, da, da, daffodil, daffodolus. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, so you're supposed to pee on the flowers? What is it now? No, they're going to take urine and they're going to get the nutrients out of there and make some nutrient-rich yes. fertilizer. They've been doing that for years, actually. Pretty cool. Yeah, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus have been used as crop fertilizer for thousands of years. And that is in So these ladies your really urine. came up with nothing, then. All right. That means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if they want people to pee on the peonies, <laughs> they should just uh, <laughs> plant peonies at the side of every frat house. <laughs> they're, okay. they're gonna... <laughs> a lot of peeing out, out, out of doors. <laughs> my my peonies are about to bloom. I will bring one in for you. Okay. Yes. Boy, okay. the money we could make. A video of you peeing on your penis. Come on. Oh, yes. I mean, of course, we're talking tens of thousands. No. Yes. The flowers would be pissed. But... Or pissed the off. flowers would be pissed. Look at them. Go. Uh, go, you know go, baby, go. Uh, so I'm, so you're, you pee in the penis. Well, I, I can't wait to see what they do with kumquats. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. <laughs> oh, no, Willie's taking his headphones yeah, off and walking. Saying, I'm, I'm, okay, walking so again? I'm a union guy. I don't go as you guys do, you know? You're the one that was using... Using your urine on your hostas. So why are you? Peeing you were the, you were collecting your pee. urine. Yes. Were you not? I was it told in to put it on the hostas to keep the deer from eating them. I thought it was coming fresh out of the tap. I didn't realize I you were keeping it and then well, pouring it on. Yeah, it depends. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was if it was in the middle of the night. You know, I would go into an old milk carton and then the next morning go out there and oh, spread it around. <laughs> old I hate to make that mistake in the morning. What's wrong with a cereal? <laughs> sugar piss. <laughs> Can't get enough of super sugar piss. Why be clever when you can just say sugar piss? <laughs> Why? Why think they, about it when you can just blur it out? Piss, 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 I come saw them, piss. Look, I saw them open. <laughs> They opened for Nirvana. Piss, Sugar on, piss. piss. Yeah, they were great. They they killed. Uh, and don't I'm forget so shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks, Colonel. <laughs> I think we should call Chick Colonel from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel McGee. <laughs> that sounds dignified. Good morning. Uh, right now, uh, let's let's do a quick survey. Christy Lee, what is your sleep number setting? Um, 45. 
Okay, that's kind of that's kind of <laughs> soft. That's, uh, a chick McGee. One hundred at firm mattress, Tom. That's okay. the way I roll. Hey, Josh, it's your birthday. What's your sleep number set? Sixty-five. Thank there you. There you go. Kind of nice middle of the road. Uh, not, like too, to not too hard. Not too soft. Oh, uh, that's what is the sleep number setting? Well, it's the ability to um, to change the firmness of your mattress at the touch of a button whenever you want. And each side of the bed has its own setting, so they should call it the everybody's happy bed. The sleep number bed. May is better sleep month, so now is a good time to uh, think about getting some great sleep and also it's a great time to get a great deal from the folks at sleep number it is the sleep number memorial day sale save a thousand dollars on the sleep number 360 special edition smart bed queen beds are now 1999 for a very limited time you'll find them only at the sleep number stores or online at sleepnumber.com slash bt show that's sleepnumber.com slash bt show great sleep very important for your overall health check it out at the Sleep Number Store. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. I do love my Sleep Number bed. Coming up, we're going to hang out with a couple of great gents today, including comedian Greg Warren, comedian Reno Collier, and more. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom, all the time, in your ear. Hey, Bob and Tom Show have a couple of podcasts you might want to check out. They are free to listen to. The Bob and Tom Show Extra Podcast drops weekday afternoons at 3 p.m. Eastern Time where? BobandTom.com slash podcast. That Josh Arnold podcast, Josh discussing some fun topics. You could learn something. And the Bits and Pieces podcast, a dive into the Bob and Tom archives and discussion of some of our favorite bits and pieces from the show. One of the latest involves Josh Arnold is on the Bits and Pieces podcast as a guest. That's right. Josh, a fan of the show before becoming a member of the cast in the sidekick chair. And he has a lot of favorite bits and pieces from back in the day. They go over them, talk about them, listen to them. It's a lot of fun. Check it out. It is free and available for you right now at bobandtom.com slash podcast. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom News Desk. President Joe Biden and the First Lady plan to travel to Buffalo, New York, Tuesday to grieve with the community as it mourns those killed or wounded in Saturday's supermarket shooting. Biden is urging unity as a remedy for what he calls, quote, the hate that remains a stain on the soul of America. Are there fake and spam accounts on Twitter? Well, the obvious answer to both questions is yes, but that seems to be news to the man who says he wants to spend $44 billion to buy the social media platform. Billionaire Elon Musk says he's putting his purchase of Twitter on hold, though he still plans to go through with it. The hang-up is knowing the number of spam and fake accounts on the site. While the number of bogus accounts may vary widely, they've always been there, and some analysts think that Musk may be raising the issue as a reason to back out of his purchase. And two researchers at the University of Michigan are emphasizing the P in peony. Nancy Love and Krista Wigington have been applying urine-based fertilizer to heirloom peony beds at the school in Ann Arbor before the flower's annual spring bloom. And it's worked. Now they want to get the word out about how nutrition-rich urine could have environmental and economic benefits. One right off the bat is that a recent study found using recycled urine could lead to big reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and energy. Who knew? And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Boy, this week in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, sure has a lot of dummies in town. It's the annual ventriloquist convention. Uh, morning, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> I'm sorry? What did you say? From the ventriloquism convention? Yeah. They are uh, not moving on this. Yeah, I, I can tell. Um, oh, we can tell. I can tell your, your lips are pretty, so, uh, uh, pretty still there. Jerry, what's the name of your partner? Timmy. Timmy? It's really. Can, can, can <laughs> Timmy. Can, can Timmy be speaking to the phone? Hand in the phone. <laughs> You're going to drink some water. Drink some water while talking to us. Okay, okay go ahead. <laughs> I'll have to call you back. <laughs> Sunshine. Bob and Tom 24 7. 24 7. 24 /7. Comedian Roger Naylor is our guest <laughs> from the Ohio Valley. Mm -hmm. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember. Is your wife a cop? 
Yeah, it's not the traditional uh, job like we were uh, talking about. I mean, it is very, you know, very romantic. We met at a uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wow. hates that joke. She I'll bet. hates I'll that I'll joke. bet she yeah. does. It is a weird job for a woman to have, but it has its advantages. I mean, what other job can you think of where the woman comes home every single night with handcuffs? So, sure. Hey, hey. we got a little game we like to play called Held for Questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Uh, <laughs> on the downside, yeah. my wife carries a gun. Oh, good point. Which makes PMS a whole different ball game <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Our toilet seat stays down. <laughs> <laughs> I take no chances. I pee in the tub or out in the yard. I don't even, even mess uh, I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, my wife is a, 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 a cop. It's very weird being in bed with a cop. Do you know how embarrassing it is to be in the middle of making love to your wife and all of a sudden you hear, what's your hurry, pal? <laughs> Do you know why I stopped you? <laughs> Do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> I gotta wear radar detector on my wiener. <laughs> it's a fuzz buster. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24 7. I don't blame them. I'll say it like this. What I hate worse than the common flies are them little fruit flies that are always hanging around in bars yep. or in the summer around wet dog peters. I swear to God. <laughs> they could be a thousand miles away and somehow spot a wet dog peter like a hawk surveying feeder mice. Oh, they always man. find them. <laughs> flies are sort of badass. When you, you ever seen pictures of flies up close? Weird, huh? Yeah. Their eyes are like mini disco balls. <laughs> yes. They can see over like 200 different angles. Now, I bet flies would be great billiards players if they could make sticks to fit their hands. <laughs> right. yeah, they can see everything. <laughs> Silly. Thanks for listening to Bob and Tom. Five. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey, Chuck. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. The birthday boy. He sure is. Thanks. He's taking advantage of it whenever he can. Well, all I said was, can I please have that money in your wallet? No, here's what you said. You, uh, it's my birthday. All right. <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> there's Ace Cosby. <laughs> At the track phone hotline hot phone, there's Willie Griswold. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom with a special... No, it's Greg Warren. It's not a special guest. Uh, there we go. Hey. There he is. Look at that handsome man. <laughs> uh, it's uh, what we call the Warren Report. Is and that Warren Cromarty? That is Warren Cromarty, <laughs> Chick. Uh, one of my favorite ball players ever. I love his Chick, name. Did you, did you know that he played... So he played, and then he took eight years off from yep. MLB and came back and, and uh, played a half a season and hit 316. Yep, it was an amazing ball player. Played for the Expos, and he was just the best. Warren Cromarty. What did he do during yeah. his time off? He was in Japan playing, I think, most of that time. Oh, okay. And okay. I think he uh, was a uh, gardener, actually. He raised uh, peonies there. Have I, <laughs> Is that have right? I made, have I made you happy? <laughs> trying to make all, Warren, <laughs> make it all the come peony back. king <laughs> from Marty. <laughs> uh, but Greg Warren always has a photograph, or typically, uh, behind him of someone also named Warren. <laughs> Doesn't it look like he's... He's broadcasting this morning from a small cell. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does look like picture. you're going to be winking in Morse code. I've been tortured like your Lloyd Booker. Booker, there the it Pueblo. is. Um, read your history, kids. And now, um, <laughs> Who got mad at us? <laughs> well, that's because Lloyd Booker and the Pueblo. And they're, they're, never mind. <laughs> Greg, what's your topic today, buddy? Well, thanks for asking, Chick. Uh, I wanted to talk today about the history of pie. Oh, the number or the pastry? The pastry. Thank you. Uh, uh, good. Clarifying. It is my birthday. Uh, yeah, happy birthday, uh, Josh. Thank you, Greg. Um, <laughs> this is a topic near and dear to my heart. Yeah, it's. Uh, it probably started with uh, the Egyptians, then the Greeks, then the Romans. The Romans were the first ones to put uh, uh, a cover on the pie, a top crust. Uh, and they had the first uh, recorded recipe for pie. It was uh, huh. uh, rye crusted goat cheese with honey. Ooh. Doesn't that sound like something? Ooh. Now back in the day, guys, uh, pies were more. The crust was more of a uh, a Ziploc 
bag, if you will. They, they didn't eat the crust. It was made to preserve things, ah. um, uh, like uh, for the winter mm -hmm. or for sea voyages, uh, oh. uh, things like that. Yeah. Uh, so people didn't really eat the crust. Um, and the crust were, uh, there was a lot more crust, uh, often more crust than pie. Greg, which, back uh, then, didn't they eat a lot of uh, rabbit or hassen pfeffer, if you will? Uh, yes. Uh, widely known yes. as hair pie. <laughs> see? See what he did? Yeah, I know. I, I share your uh, dismay. <laughs> I mean, Chick, Chick, I work on these things. You know? I know. I know. You get up. You you want to you want to contribute and research. I'm trying to educate people out there, and this idiot. <laughs> Just because it's his birthday. Asking. Uh, that was a fair question. Okay. The old hair pie. All right. Uh, so by uh, by definition, uh, uh, the Oxford English Dictionary, uh, to be a pie, you do have to have a top crust. Ah. So most of what we eat in the U.S. is technically a, a tart. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Have you ever eaten a tart? It, it, <laughs> I have. Uh, Why would you? I think you're you're referring to the, uh, the 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 word tart that describes a woman. And and I, I was curious about that, Tom. I looked it up. A tart is a woman that dresses or behaves in a way that is considered inappropriate. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, often, uh, uh, she is uh, younger and more attractive than the woman that feels she dresses or behaves in a, a way that is considered inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, back in the day, uh, uh, I know Josh was leading to a, a horrible joke, but to back in the day, it was mostly meat pies, mm. um, often birds. Uh, and again, remember, they didn't eat the crust. These were just sort of uh, uh, preservatives or, uh, you know, Tupperware. Often the, uh, the legs of the birds uh, hung out the sides, and they used those legs for handles to carry the pie. <laughs> oh, that rocks. That's amazing. What? Yes, yes. Now, get this. You, you know that... Uh, that Nursery rhyme, four and 20 black black birds, birds baked in a pie. pie. Right. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Wasn't it a dainty dish to set before the king? Uh -huh. uh, that's real. Back in the day, uh, the upper class entertained their guests uh, by uh, having a pie open and birds flying out or frogs or turtles or <laughs> rabbits. They put live animals in the pie, and that was a way to sort of entertain the guests no no that, yes uh, that rabbit pie yeah josh didn't you have something uh he did no yeah i did chick thanks for bringing that up I did. Uh, <laughs> so i'm sorry they put uh, the birds I, I get from the rhyme but they put like rabbits and furry animals yeah 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 and then the, and then the, the pie would open and the rabbits would hop out and the guests would be, be uh delighted i bet that'd be a fur delighted pie. That would yeah. be a fur pie. Yeah. A fur. Ah, you got your hair pie, your fur pie. Uh -huh. Hair pie, fur pie. Sometimes turned into a burger, the fur burger. Now, in the late uh, 20th century, I believe, Greg, <laughs> eagles were starting to be used. Those were, oh, yeah. uh, the bald pie became very popular. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> made a big comeback recently. That's a shaven vagina. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank, well, you. thank you for painting the picture, Picasso. Greg, Greg looked confused. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, looks befuddled. Sort of. You know, ashamed, I think is the like, <laughs> the word you're looking for. Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, Greg. I, I, I knew where this was going a long time ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I brought this on myself. Uh, if you thought if you thought the birds and the rabbits flying out of the pie was disturbing, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Charles the First, Charles the First, uh, Chucky one, <laughs> Chucky one. <laughs> Charlemagne. He put he put a young boy with dwarfism in a pie. Oh my god! Uh, yes, they put Dinklage. Was, they put Dinklage in a pie. <laughs> yes, as, as he, he was he, he was seven years old no, at the time. So he was no. eighteen inches, and he, he dressed him in, uh, up in armor, and he uh, got out and uh, and recited poetry and <laughs> marched around to entertain the guests. Okay. This kid eventually became like a a, a pretty famous. Uh, you know, a uh, king's court entertainer. So, really? I was going to yeah. say, uh, now that is a hell of an act. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. an act. That's right. an act. That's an act. They made a guy. So if, if you're one of these, uh, you're one of these Hollywood uh, childhood store stars, 
uh, uh, this kid doesn't want to hear you whining about your, you know, your lost childhood. <laughs> like, <yeah>. Oh, oh, <laughs> really, Corey Feldman? Uh, they, they, you had to work late hours? Let me ask you this. Did they happen to bake you? Did, did, they, put you, did they put you in a pastry? Uh, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and, I, and it gets crazy. Now, this, and I, I read this in a couple of places, so I guess it happened. At one point, there were 28 musicians in a pod. Oh, my Lord. 28 music. That's that's like half that's, of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, there, there aren't that many uh, musicians in either, Humble Pie. That's either a really big pie or really small musicians. That's yeah. all yeah, I it could, it could be another. Wow. Yeah, could be that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and their yeah. instruments? <laughs> and their instruments, I believe. Yeah. What kind of oven did they have that they could bake a pie that big? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty impressive. I think, uh, I wonder if there's one guy, you know, at the party that didn't get what was going on. I was like, hey, uh, we still get to eat the dwarf, though, right? And like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, we're, man, it's just it's just musicians. We're just letting it go to waste? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's, it's not for eating. Mm. It's, uh, right. yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, that was the thing, man. I mean, I guess you just, this, this pie came out. You didn't know what was going to be in it, man. I swear, I can tell by that pie. That's that's going to be REO Speedwagon, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 Greg, that, you think uh, this was the beginning of the wimp woman jumping out of a cake? Mm-hmm. Oh. No, that was uh, the beginning of that was uh, the the movie with uh, Under Siege with uh, Steven Seagal and Eric, yeah, Eric I, Olyniak. Oh, okay, yeah, I think, we all, I think we all remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, chick in that movie, yeah. she, you know, she did. They hired her as a stripper. Mm -hmm. uh, jump out of that cake. She wound up helping Seagal take over that submarine. Damn actually. right she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was kind of part of it. Uh, I'm yeah. just a uh, cook. <laughs> I'm nothing more than a cook. <laughs> I don't think I've. Seen so when did when did pie become what we know as a pie? Which was the well, 1500s smaller. were the first times uh, was the first time there was a fruit pie, um, and then 1621, of course, was the first Thanksgiving, and uh, we were all lied to in grade school. There was no pumpkin pie at that what? affair. Yeah, well, no, because yeah, pump, pumpkin is hideous, and there shouldn't well, be a ridiculous. pumpkin. Pie. I love pumpkin uh, pies. You shut I, up. Tom, awesome. I can bake a good pumpkin pie. I, I, I'll I wanna, make you one. All yeah, right. I, love pumpkin pie. I can't wait for this Thanksgiving just for that. Mm -hmm. That'll be yeah, yeah. Uh, You know, there's, there's now, um, this is a, a comedy show. Uh, well, and uh, allegedly. Occasionally. <laughs> yeah, 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 sometimes. We'll get back to that in about 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll get back to that wow. in about 10 wow. minutes. Greg, wow. don't you listen wow. to him, man. Don't you listen to him. Greg, you're doing great, buddy. We're having a you great had time. The, you had that thing if, about the If, the if this ship goes down... I, I had very little to do with it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's all so what, what pie was that Thanksgiving? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Uh, was no, he just said pies. Oh, no. oh, meat pie? Yeah. Okay. Meat oh. pies, yeah. yeah. No, there was no pumpkin uh, back then. Okay. Um, now, the first uh, movie with a pie in the face, Josh, what, what was it? Oh, my gosh, I don't know. What was it? Well, there's some a uh, little bit of controversy. 1909, Ben Turpin. Uh, starred in Mr. Flip. Uh, there's no <laughs> copy of that movie, so people argue whether it happened or not. But okay. definitely 1913, uh, a Max Senate production. Sure. Uh, uh, a Noise from the Deep. Uh, Mabel Norman uh, threw a pie in Fatty Arbuckle's face. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was the first time. Now, um, the, the, the biggest pie movie, uh, Tom, do you know this? Uh, the Great the, Race, right? American Pie? No, Great Race had a lot of pies, but uh, 1927 oh. Battle of the Century. Wow! Uh, that there were it was a, a Laurel and Hardy film. Uh, Four thousand oh. pies were thrown at each other. Wow! In that, yeah, um, and uh, and then uh, the, the the Stooges had uh, 1941 in, uh, in the Sweet Pie and Pie. Oh sure! Oh uh, man, those yeah. guys could really write comedy, couldn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they could. <laughs> Let's yeah. throw a pie. Yeah. Let's throw a pie at him or hit him in the face with a hammer. Man, oh, man. Funny, a, lot of, a lot of fun wordplay in the Funny, oh, funny right, stuff. Right. Well, yeah, sweet <laughs> pie and pie. I just heard something. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the, the, the first cherry pie uh, was made for Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth the I, oh. actually. As a joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here you go, you old horn dog. <laughs> yeah, they use they use maraschino cherries. It didn't taste real good. Uh, I tried to get. I I could not get a, a read on what the rankings of the pies are. It's, it just wasn't out there. Um, there's a lot of 
I don't know, a lot of competing ideas. But from what I can tell, apple is the number one pie. Oh. Uh, yeah, then pumpkin, and then it gets a little hazy after that. Some say chocolate, followed by lemon meringue, followed by cherry. Greg, where do uh, you fall on the Boston cream pie debate? More of a cake. There's, there's, it's not a, no, it's it's not a debate. It's a cake. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well. Yeah, it's not. It, it, it's it's not a pie. They say pie, cake. don't they? Wonder why they call it a pie. <laughs> jo uh, Josh, the internet says uh, it's it's a cake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, your favorite. Right. What's what is your favorite uh, pie, Mr. Greg Warren? Well, I, to bake, uh, I would say probably a, a, a sweet potato pie. Uh, All right, now how about to eat, Nancy? <laughs> you know, when did you, I didn't know you were such a baker. Yeah. yeah. You know, no, I, I can, I can bake. There. Can oh, you bake? Yeah, old Grandma Warren over there. I have there. no idea. Oh, my poor uh, I, 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 you're trying to make fun of me, and I don't care. When Grandma <laughs> Warren makes you a delicious <laughs> cake, Josh, you're not going to turn it down. No, Grandma Warren hasn't made me anything. <laughs> You care a little bit. <laughs> Bought me plenty. I don't, of care. I don't care, chick. I'm a good baker. Uh, okay. I know I, to eat, uh, Josh, I'd say probably a French silk pie. Oh, Ooh, that's a that's fine a choice. Good one. That is yeah. a chick good Chick McGee, one. your favorite pie? Pecan pie. Begins and ends with okay. pecan. Josh? Okay. Favorite pie? Apple. Dumb. Real dumb. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. You know yeah. what a shoe fly pie is, guys? <laughs> Yeah, we um, talked about that. Mince we meat. have talked about it. Shoe fly. It's a uh, it's a wet bottom pie. Uh, made, wet uh, bottom primarily pie, of, you make, make the rocket world go round. Go round. <laughs> <laughs> wet bottom pie. Uh, dredge oh. up that audio turd. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's the second Queen song he's had a problem with in the yeah. last. Oh, he doesn't oh, care. No, no, he has yeah. a problem. You should have. You weren't. You weren't here for the major Lance hour. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Much better artist than the Queen. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, shoe fly pie is it's a molasses wet bottom pie, and uh, <laughs> they baked it. They they would put it out uh, in an area to attract the flies to get them out of the kitchen. Ugh. Wasn't molasses wet bottom one of the finest blues musicians of the nineteen twenties? <laughs> oh, he's good. He's yeah, good. He's real good. Ho, ho, uh, tenor ho, sax. Ho, ho. Todd Berg, everything you knew. <laughs> now, every year uh, for Christmas, I get everybody pies from our pie lady. Yeah, we hear. And oh, this I think this you're setting a record. May is the earliest. You've ever, <laughs> this is absolutely, absolutely the earliest you've held it over yeah, our head. Do, I have to do a major survey. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, what kind of yes. pie everybody oh, likes? Yeah. Do it. You have people. A major do it survey. For you. He sends out one email saying, "What no, pie do you want?" No, he doesn't send it. <laughs> Amy sends it out. Yeah. And if she doesn't send it out, there's hell to pay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That peanut butter pie is my favorite pie. That's in the that's, 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 that's where I'm going it's with this. That insane. peanut butter pie that she makes is the. Best. Does it have a roof? I don't think it has a roof. There's no, no roof on it. No. Nope. That's a tart. It's, it's a, a tart. tart. It's, it's a, tart a peanut butter right tart. Now. So every Christmas you get us tarts. She's the tart lady. You know what I found out during quarantine? I was making pie filling. Yeah. You don't even need to put it in a pie. You no. can just put it in a jar and eat pie filling with a spoon. Spoon it right out. Yeah. At home. Absolutely. It's, what you got there is jelly. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you, I believe uh, I'm going to make a mess of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You get oh, pie. Who's that guy? A mess of jelly. Do you get pie when you go out to eat, Greg? Uh... Rarely, yeah, I rarely. I did. I did eat a whole uh, pie at Perkins one time. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, good really? for you, yeah. man. That's, tell us, tell yeah. us about it. Don't leave out anything. What flavor was it? It was. A, it was a French silk pie. It was. A, it was after a show at Go Bananas back about I don't know twenty five years ago, and I was. I had just met the comedian Eddie Ift, very funny guy. We did a show together. And uh, it was about one in the morning. I, I think I could eat a whole pie tonight. And uh, and he's like, No, you can't. And I, I ate an entire French silk pie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, your bowels bound up a little bit, did they? Yeah, man, I, I was. It was after there was about a ten year period after uh, wrestling uh, that I I rebelled against all the weight cutting that I. I, I was going to say, college. man, that's yeah, yeah. and uh, yes, yeah, uh, it wasn't good, but no, uh, man, it was fun. Time. Uh, yeah. Now, um, if I'm looking at the schedule correctly here, it looks like uh, you're going to be at the Looney Bin in Little Rock coming up Wednesday, June 1st through Saturday, June 4th. All right. Yeah, Tom, you don't care for some of these names, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think naming a business after a mental illness is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Hey, what about bipolars? Is that going to open up any of We're going to be at schizos. schizos. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's okay. Then you'll be at the Funny Bone in Syracuse, the Looney Bin in Oklahoma City, the Looney Bin in Tulsa, and then at Brad Garrett's Comedy Club in Vegas. That's a great spot. You'll be there July 3rd. I, I'm sorry, uh, June 27th through July 3rd. All right. Say hello to Brad Forrest. I wish you go great. to Vegas. 
Well, thanks very yeah. much, Greg. Vegas. Uh, Hi, guys. I, 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 we'll uh, look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday, Josh. Thanks, Greg. Love you, man. See you, buddy. Kiss my ass, Greg. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and it just cut him off. That was beautiful. Um, <laughs> yes. You think somebody would loan us a plane so we go to Vegas? That'd be fun. Loan us a plane? I you I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. There are many commercial airlines that fly there. No, yeah. no, no, I want a private jet. I want to zip luck. out to Vegas. Yeah. Right. Oh, be yeah. Zip out right from the airport. Who's with plenty, me? Plenty I'm of, with I'm you. Plenty I'd love to go. Me, Christy, Willie, right. Josh, I'm you in? in? I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm there. Oh. Ace, Ace, oh, you're Ace out. loves Vegas. Um, I'm in. The Colts no. are playing in Vegas. I'm trying to convince my dad to send me an Ace there. Well, we looked into that, and the tickets are like $2,000 a piece. You got this. But the, worth it. For the crappy ones. But worth it. You want a good show or not? <laughs> okay. Uh, now, um, uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, getting some great food, uh, maybe even some pie from Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. What does Hello well, Fresh hello do? Fr well, Hello Fresh, they send you the box inside the box. They've done the grocery shopping. They've done the measuring. They send you the cards that have the... Uh, all the, uh, the things you know to make these recipes, including things like uh, oh, one pan cheesy beef tortilla melts. What else, Willie? One of my favorites, the lemon tortelloni Palermo with roasted bell pepper and Parmesan. HelloFresh is going to send you eight ingredients. You put those together in six easy steps, and in just over a half hour, you have this delicious, colorful pasta from our friends at HelloFresh. Mm. HelloFresh, once again, they do the shopping. It's uh, They do the measuring, so it's easy to put together whatever kind of food you're into, family-friendly, or uh, maybe you want low-calorie, low, car low, low carb, whatever it is you're, you're into. They've got 50 different weekly options, so you just check out what they've got, see what you want, and how many many nights do you want it or days do you want it? They've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, the whole deal. And in order to get you to try it, they've got the best offer ever. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Why 16? Because that's for 16 free meals and three free gifts as part of a very special package. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Once again, that code, like Bob Tom Show, BTShow16, 16 free meals, three free gifts. HelloFresh.com slash BTShow16. Things like sweet heat shrimp tempura bowls, Mm, one pan cheesy beef tortilla melts. I'm getting hungry. Once again, BT Show 16 at HelloFresh.com slash BT Show 16. Coming up, we have um, a... I have something in my never-ending quest to make Tom happy. Yeah. I have something to add to General Booty, the new quarterback for oh, the Oklahoma Sooners. <laughs> All right. We've got another edition of uh, something about uh, uh, an interesting first name. Oh, well, just for Tom. I'm trying to make you happy. I'm buddy. looking forward to it. All right. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Keep us with you at all times. Get the Bob and Tom app now at your app store. State law. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, Norman, honey, what you doing? It's getting late. I'm downstairs, honey. Um, uh, just getting some cereal. Snow gums. <laughs> Thank God he found it. I was getting desperate. I hope this works. You know, Judy tried it with Ted, and she said he's become insatiable. Boy, will Snookums be in for a treat, because her hubby is chomping on the new cereal for men who are sexually dysfunctional. <laughs> it's nut and raisin, honey. <laughs> mm, this sure is tasty. Mm. <laughs> honey, I'll be right up. <laughs> nut and raisin, honey. The cereal that gets you up in the morning, or any time for that matter. Nut and raisin, honey. Eat them from the bowl or right out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom. Five. Four. 
Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> they put the F in professional. Hey, if you guys want to watch the show while it happens, you can do that at bobandtom.com forward slash live. That's the location of the Bob and Tom live video feed. You can watch as the show happens and see that, well, for example, there's Ace Cosby telling his joke of the day. And there's Chick McGee's reaction. Yep, you can watch that live for free. BobandTom.com forward slash live. If you'd like to continue to listen to the show, keep it here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. The Boston Celtics are in the NBA's Eastern Conference Finals. They knocked out the defending champs 109-81 beating the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Dallas Mavericks cruise in Phoenix onto the Western Conference Finals. They built a 30-point halftime lead, a 123-90 blowout over the top seed Suns. Luka Doncic, Spencer Dinwiddie, and Jalen Brunson accounted for 89 points. In the NHL, the Rangers have completed their Stanley Cup first-round comeback from a three-game-to-one deficit, a 4-3 win last night, and winning the series in New York over the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Calgary Flames on to the second round following a 3-2 win over the Dallas Stars. Major League Baseball action, Interleague, Houston beat Washington, Seattle over the Mets, Kansas City beat Colorado. In the American League, Tampa Bay, Detroit, the Yankees, Minnesota, Texas, and the Angels all win. And in the National League, San Diego, Pittsburgh, Milwaukee, the Cubs, Dodgers, and St. Louis also win. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. They have, they have a buffet with, what, pizza and All chicken fried wings? chicken. Josh, do, do the announcement. Go ahead. I don't say, I, like, I come out from a tub of ranch dressing. <laughs> Josh Arnold, yeah. I've got some lasso and a pizza, just like an animated pizza running down the range. <laughs> Get back here! Woo! <laughs> when you need to rustle up some grub, head on over to Pizza Ranch. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. With us in the studio, comedian Doug Stanhope. I wanted to talk about something fairly mundane, actually, with <laughs> Doug. You hate baseball. Am I correct? Uh, baseball players always, they just, they, they look like cops so much. They're so... <laughs> <laughs> no, they're so joyless. Are you out of your mind? But no, you watch you, you watch any other sport, and they're happy, and they're pumping up the crowd, they're high fiving. And baseball guys, they just look so joyless and smug, and they just sit there in the dugout, and they look like cops. You know how you know someone gets pulled over, they have no registration, and you need nine officers, and they all stand around with their arms crossed, and self-important looking, no joy in their face. So what do you do during? Because I can tell you, love. I mean, I, I'll so bet much. on baseball. Because it's, I think that's the only reason people watch it is because it's the only thing on in the summer. I, I, I hate the I, I hate the Yankees. That's the only reason I watch baseball is to hope the Yankees lose, and that's I guess that's probably a miserable. Just because they buy their team and their fans are so obnoxious. Like if you're gonna just be cheering in the stands, pick an underdog and have some character. If you have money on the game, it's different. That's like having stock in a company. Yeah. But if you're just gonna be a, a a loud mouth, you know, beer fueled ass bag in the stands. Pick the underdog. Rooting for the Yankees is like going to a casino and cheering for the house. You're <laughs> already supposed to win. You're standing behind the blackjack table going, oh, dealer busted your ass, bitch. Oh, that's my dealer. I got my dealer jersey on. Hey, guy, it's Ken Tarmac. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Take that to the bank. <laughs> 24-7. I know. Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must Why be... don't... Oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? I... Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're... <laughs> <laughs> When grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> and then I, I figured I didn't need to write anymore. I'm Anderson's Donnie Biker. By the way. 
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi, everybody. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Jack. One song? One song. What do you I'll play two songs. Two, uh, songs. two songs? Three, I think. Two songs. Three. We'll count Lighthouse. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, we're not oh, counting Lighthouse. Oh, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold, birthday boy. Oh, hi. Thank you, Chick. There's uh, Ace Cosby, manning the track phone hotline hot phone. There's hey, Willie hey. Griswold. Hi, I'm Chick. And here's Tom. Well, uh, Christy Lee, I think you've got a story that may lead to a song, if I'm not mistaken. What uh, would that be? Well, you have a, a, it's kind of a record, I think. It's about uh, some bridge somewhere. Um, am I... Oh, yeah, hold on. Um, it's uh, like the world. It's world's... not a world record, though, so that's no. why Chick didn't get it. Take your time. The world's long. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you yeah, just because it's your birthday doesn't mean I can't. No. Never mind. Kick oh. you in the balls. <laughs> the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge has opened at a mountain against? resort in Czech Republic. The world's largest pedestrian bridge. Suspension uh, yes. pedestrian bridge. Yikes. A 2,365-foot-long bridge built at an altitude of more than 3,600 feet above oh, sea high. level. That is high. Connects two mountain ridges and hangs up to 312 feet above the valley below. Oh, that is far too high. Up to 500 people will be allowed to be on the Skybridge 721 at any one time. Do they weigh them as they get on? I mean, I, yeah, wouldn't it be weight, not a number of yeah, people? Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to follow Happy Humphrey and his family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to do that anyway. Oh. You never miss yeah, Fat people are disgusting. Yeah, there are a scourge. Uh, here's the picture. This thing is terrifying. Would, it, would you cross it? Does it swing back and forth? Uh, pro it, but this thing had. Just it, a swing. Th this one has a metal floor. It's so cool. That's that makes me a little more comfortable because the other one we had. There was a glass, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, here I've see. got. Here's the glass one. That's the glass one is uh, the world's longest glass bottom bridge, um, and that's in uh, Vietnam. The White Dragon Bridge. Vietnam? You mean where the fun is? <laughs> Sorry, I think my place. dad was known as White Dragon in Vietnam. <laughs> D R A G G I N apostrophe. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, this one's over 2,000 feet long. White dragon the magnificent. The one in Vietnam. So the, the, and it's 500 feet off the ground, but that has uh, three layers of one and a half inch tempered glass. So you're walking yeah. and you can look down. And... It's also not the one we're talking about. No. Right. Not at all. <laughs> but. <laughs> not at all. But I get it. Pat has a song you want to crowbar yes. in. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, no, there are two of them. One of them is in Czechoslovakia. This other one was in... Uh, Czech Republic. I love these things. I'm afraid of heights, but I, I always do these. I'm really? afraid yeah, of heights, I'm... but I force myself to do them so I could be a better person. challenge it to me. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? My gosh, if that wasn't so funny, I'd get you. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> exactly. It challenges me. <laughs> I can't help but notice, Pat, you have your guitar, or is it your keyboard? I can't. That's my guitar. Oh, I yes. know you, how much you love Queen, so I've worked up uh, something for the right. glass bottom uh, bridge thing. Oh. I am such a scared cat, I could never cross that. I did the Mac and all once get the hell out of me. <laughs> This damn thing's got glass. I'm gonna slip and fall on my ass. Glass bottom bridge, you'll make a fool out of me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cross this bridge tonight. <laughs> oh, even though I'm afraid of heights. No, I'm going back to the other side. Glass bottom bridge, you're gonna make me my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a word there. I mean, you do what? I think, I, think, uh, I, think, uh, I was on Zoom. And, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's a glitch. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> a bit of a glitch. Uh, uh, Christy Lee, what else is happening? I missed everything else. A couple in India suing their son and daughter-in-law because they haven't given them any grandchildren. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Sanjeev Rajan Prasad, a 61-year-old retired government officer, told reporters, quote, we want a grandson or a granddaughter within a year or compensation because I've spent my life's earnings on my son's education. Prasad said he spent $47,300 for his son's pilot training in the United States and continued, quote, we got him married in the hope we would have the pleasure of becoming grandparents. It's been six years since their marriage. Prasad added, quote, we're not getting love and affection from where we want it the most. So now they're demanding his son and daughter-in-law produce a grandchild within a year or pay them. That's right. Six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for pilot training and the wedding must have been hell. Well, I think they have every right to demand this. Mm -hmm. What? A, co a court has accepted their petition and scheduled for a hearing. You invest in your children. You want to see a return. So is what? Is uh, dad going to call his son and go, "Hey, 
I hear Sheila's ovulating. Might want to take care of that tonight. Oh, you got to encourage them? That's right. They're going to court? Whatever yeah. uh, whatever holidays they uh, celebrate, I bet, are awkward at the house. Mm. They have to be, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an awkward Diwali this year. Yeah. There it is. Order in the stork. <laughs> <laughs> it almost rhymes. Instead of order in the court, order in the stork. <laughs> See, they want the stork to come. Order in the stork. You got the or there. So. They want the stork. You remember the stork? You, you gotta start not not order in the court. You remember the stork is drunk in the water <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. cartoons because everybody keeps having to drink with a celebrating uh, drink because. Uh, Wow. A lookalike to North Korea's Kim Jong-un disrupted an Australian election campaign event. <laughs> the impersonator provided an unwanted endorsement of candidate Ms. Gladys Liu and called her, quote, the communist candidate for Australia. He was then interrupted by an aide to Prime Minister Scott Morrison. In a statement to the Associated Press, Liu said... I will not be distracted by my opponents and their grubby tactics. The North Korean prime minister is named Scott Morrison? Yep. <laughs> that no, that's an... All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, that's the guy in Australia. The Australian oh, oh, prime okay. minister. See, obviously, some guy dressed as Kim Jong-un endorsed a candidate. Obviously, that she doesn't want the endorsement <laughs> right, of this guy. Right. It was just a, some kind of weird gag. Um, wow. Strange. Uh, yeah. Uh, this was in Australia, though. Right. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what party she belongs to. I don't know. Was there a Dennis Rodman guy right next to him? <laughs> <laughs> would that be? Would, would there be a good Vegas show where they had like world leaders? Yeah, instead of you know, because they obviously got the shows where they right had, all the impersonators, you know, Elvis and dude, there that would brothers, be kind of funny. would it be cool after that would be funny the, after the righteous brothers because you know Margaret Thatcher does Margaret Thatcher better than Margaret Thatcher. Uh. Yeah, well, that'd, that'd be interesting. I think. Uh, would you want to see that? Is it just between acts? Potentially. <laughs> they came out and did something funny. The Sinatra guy, the little bit of pole pop. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it, uh, keeping it relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Putin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Putin on the Ritz. We know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> Thought it might be funny. <laughs> Nothing funnier than Putin right now. I can tell you that. <laughs> right. Man, He's oh, a riot. Well, no, I mean you're putting him in the same. Uh, Sphere with hey, look, it's the drunk stork from the cartoon. <laughs> what a day. 15 deliveries and one to go. <laughs> Everybody's glad to see the stork. <laughs> Here, stork, have a drink to the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Such good stuff. Isn't it Josh's birthday, Tom? It is. Um, yeah. Uh, do we have a surprise for Josh? Oh. Maybe. Sure hope so. Maybe coming up in a few minutes. Oh, wait, there it is right there. Yeah. What the heck? Hey, gentlemen, there we go. Are you kidding me? What is that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Holy hell. Wow. Oh. Now, it oh, is a... That's, a, a, it that's is, great. It is a cake that <laughs> no. is made to look like a giant stack of pancakes. <laughs> oh, my God. Because Josh well, loves pancakes. Well, how about that? I do love pancakes. And wow. Is, is that syrup? It sure is. Vanilla-infused crown maple syrup. Now, are those giant pancakes, or is that an actual cake cake? It is. It's cake, but it's made. It's uh, it's made with a pancake recipe, but thicker to look like oh. a cake. Now, is this real butter? That's real butter, right? Oh, on top. boy, oh, boy. Yeah, well, this is really... Like <laughs> 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 yeah, real butter on top. A lot of, a lot of butter like there. a peanut butter maple frosting. Oh, there's oh, a good wow. seven pats yeah. here. Holy yeah. wow. hell. Well, well, we will enjoy it. Yeah. It's Thank a you. beautiful birthday cake, custom made by Amy. Thank you very Isn't much. Isn't that something? For Josh's birthday. Uh, well, when we come back, what do we have over there, Christy? <laughs> uh, well, we have a pub named Vogue that's in trouble in England. Vogue. Vogue. Yeah. Uh, this is Spinal Tap, the sequel, and a baby giraffe in the news. Today. And more general... Oh, yeah. Sergeant Music. Come oh, on. I'm looking oh. forward to it. Well, really great song, actually. Okay, okay, Unlike good. your choices. Uh, I... I <sighs> You mean Major Lance? Right. Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the info in the VIP area at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.
Hello, this is comedian John Evans, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. What up, John Evans? Mark Allison with you. Rolling through a Monday. It's May 16th. For everything Bob and Tom, check out bobandtom.com. All the latest highlights, news, information, links to our social media sites, and, of course, much, much more, including the Bob and Tom show puppet Smack Tom. That's right. The Black Moods, a great band, and they were in studio doing a impromptu riff, and suddenly... Chick and Josh started singing the lyrics, Smack Tom, and it caught on. And now the puppets, oh, the puppets, the Bob and Tom Show puppets are recreating Smack Tom. If you haven't seen it, what are you waiting for? BobandTom.com, look for those puppets. Oh, my gosh, they're so fun to watch. Expect more of the puppets coming up. Don't want to give any hints, but I understand there's a new one coming. The Bob and Tom Show puppets. See more at BobandTom.com. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom Entertainment News Desk. Amber Heard is expected to take the witness stand Monday for a third day of testimony in a libel suit filed against her by her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. The high-profile trial is resuming after a one-week hiatus. Jurors have already heard four weeks of testimony. Heard has already spent two days on the witness stand and still has not been cross-examined by Depp's lawyers. After the 2020 Cannes Film Festival was canceled by the pandemic and the 2021 edition was scaled back, the lavish French Riviera Cinema Soiree is set to return with a festival that promises to be something more normal, or at least Cannes' version of normal, where for 12 days, formal wear and film mingle in sun-dappled splendor and standing ovations stretch for minutes on end. This year's festival, which starts Tuesday, features the star power of Tom Cruise, a splashy new Elvis Presley biopic, and a long list of world-renowned auteurs. And speaking of movies, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness stayed on top of the box office charts in its second weekend in release. Studio estimates Sunday say the Marvel film earned an additional $61 million from North American theaters. Add that to global grosses at $688 million worldwide. Already one of the highest-grossing films of the pandemic and the second-biggest of 2022. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. <laughs> there's a new theme park opening in Saudi Arabia, everybody. What you failed to mention, they're still trying to decide if they're going to allow women on the bumper cars. <laughs> I mean, they'll be naturals with their no previous driving experience. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> <laughs> they held a tiny penis parade last week. What you failed to mention, surprisingly, it happened to coincide with the Unsatisfied Woman's March. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Morning laughter <laughs> <laughs> just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and Tom 24-7. <laughs> Are odors in your home a constant problem? Do you live with a smoker, have pets, or simply have annoying kitchen cooking odors that just won't go away? Do you ever hear comments like this? Gee, Janet, I never thought of fertilizing houseplants with cow dung. <laughs> or has a house guest ever said... <laughs> Great room freshener, Bill. <laughs> what do you call it? Early American locker room? <laughs> You've tried carpet deodorizers, spray mist, incense, stick-up fragrance dispensers, and even plug-in devices that temporarily mask the smells in your home. Nothing seems to work. That's why Home Products Incorporated, a division of Frigham Hall Industries, is proud to announce its latest innovation. Le Clip. With Le Clip, foul-smelling odors seem to miraculously disappear. Simply put Le Clip over your nose and the nose of visitors to your home and see what a difference it can make. Hi, I'm Mary. How you been? <laughs> Wonderful, Janet. Hey, your house smells great. See how easy? If you pick up Le Clip today and if you're not delighted with the results, we'll send your money back. Le Clip by the same company that brought you Le Blindfold, the product that makes messy, cluttered homes look more neat and organized. Gosh, I need to... The house has never looked better. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Live Longboard and Lake Clip. Pick yours up today. <laughs> okay. Essential morning radio. All day and all. Tom sent you. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I need a reason. I, never, I couldn't understand a word he said. Nobody love, love does. That tune. Don't run, give run, up. Run, wrote this whole song. Hi, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick McGee. He's in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. All right, thank you for my coffee, Chip. You're welcome. He's got everybody waiting on him. Everybody in the building. Ah, it's my yeah, birthday. It's your birthday. Stand Please. back. He takes large steps on his birthday. Gangway. Look out. <laughs> yeah, well, once again, we had a foe. Not, not one, two, three, foe. But okay, a there's fake, Ace Cosby. A Hi, fake buddy. stack hey. of pancakes that's actually a cake cake. Yeah. There's Amy Willie made. Griswold. And Chick. there's a picture of this, so it's being put on the various Bob and Tom social media platforms. Okay. Chick, did you know that it is 69 degrees in Ilian, New York today? No. You yeah. know what I do know about Ilian, New York? What? I know that coming up this Saturday, it's going to be that Josh Arnold and that Willie G doing a special show at Cacciatore's. Is that how you pronounce it? Catch a tours. Catch a tours. What mm -hmm. night is it? Saturday. So when uh, are you guys leaving Friday and staying over somewhere? Or you just yeah. straight through. Yep, mm -hmm. we're leaving Friday after the show. We'll stop wherever and then uh, oh, finish it off. And then Sunday is the big day when it's ten and a half hours. Yeah. yeah. Great. And I don't know if you've seen this, oh. but my favorite part about any road trip is going to happen this weekend. It is raining. Oh. <laughs> yes. with Josh and I went too. Yes. Oh, that's one Nobody of the, cares, Pat. One of the many shows and, coming up. Um, okay. Know, Thank you, Tom. Looking forward to it. Just add a little something. Now, uh, let's see. Where was I? <laughs> Got that going on. Oh, I know. We were talking about... Lost in this room by myself. We were talking about Major Major Lance. <laughs> yes, we were. Major Harris. Major Garrett, the newscaster. General <laughs> Booty is the new quarterback for Oklahoma. Uh -huh. Really, and that's, his actual name is right. General. He's not a soldier. And his name is General, much like Sergeant Shriver exactly. of the Kennedy what clan. A great, great... Great example. Uh, now here, I think that's probably the best example. Here's here's a great song. Yeah, this is great. This is a good song. Is this Major Lance? This is General Johnson singing. Oh wow! This is incredible. I love this tune. It's the group. It's the chairman of the board. They'll do that a lot. Man, and they get right to it, don't they? Yes. <laughs> They only had the studio for like an hour, Tom. Yeah, that's they what had, it feels like. To, <laughs> Bring me right in. They had to get to it. All right, get in, sit down. All right, hit it. <laughs> Don't you like that? He wants more time. It was what he wants. Anyway, great, also, great song. Also, yeah. Tom, General Johnson, the lead singer, chairman of the board, was also the gentleman who wrote Patches. Oh, God. Are you kidding? By oh, Clarence no, Carter. Oh, no. Clarence Carter? Are you kidding oh. me? Yes, let's hear Patches. When you start or, or oh sorry you make it hard long soft what's he talking about? you be stroking what oh that's right you be stroking uh very good uh, that's uh, i smell amazing almond. Chick, what's that Give Me a Little More Time song called? Give Me Just a Little More Time. Okay. They didn't have time to record it nope. or or write a title. Oh, they just said, hit it. Give little drum roll, bring me in. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah, I'm how, not would you, how would you do that live? I don't know. So I'm not going to. be ready. Look, here's the thing. I'm not going to just sit down and sing, I need something. Yeah. And the sarcastic drummer replied. <laughs> <laughs> Two, How's three, that, General? One, go. How's that, General? And of course, Patches, I like this song. I, mean, I know we make fun of it, but oh, I love this. So he didn't sing this when he wrote, right? You could. They have similar vocal styles, though. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Uh, so now you're okay that I am okay with. Yeah, because we found this Major song. Harris. <laughs> Right at the top of his yeah, ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never Singing hear that one. Off. I don't know why that... <laughs> why isn't that in rotation on the oldie stations? I love that tune. And uh, this is the... Patches is already a sad song. But yeah. this is the... It's another edit for Patches. Sure. Are, are we ready? Okay, yeah, good. okay. I was born and raised down in Alabama on a farm way back up in the woods. <laughs> I was so ragged that folks used to call me Patches. Oh. Mama used to tease me about it because deep down inside he was hurt because he'd done all he could. <laughs> he'd done all he could. <laughs> um, had to wear Patches. Go out and have a I, I love... Uh, Make it a great day. Songs where they... There's like talking it up front and then they get into the, the body. If it's part of the song, if they yeah. ask me if I w I'm ready to rock, I'm out. 
but right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, as Nick Griffin would say, yes. <laughs> I mean, you're ready to rock? <laughs> yes. I'm here. I got in a car. I'm I here. I paid for parking. <laughs> <laughs> I paid a $40 fee for something I'm not sure about. Yeah. It's 300 for the ticket. Are yeah, I'm ready, ready to rock. To ro Are you yes. ready to rock? Yes. <laughs> Give me just a little more. That's General Johnson. That is General Johnson. Okay, Christy Lee will know this one. And the chairman of the board. And, um, I'm, I'm not sure who else will know this one. I know you will for sure, Christy. All right. <laughs> uh oh, maybe not. I'm getting that look. I don't know. What is it? Well, we're talking about people who have a name that is the same as a military title. Mm -hmm. Major Taylor. Yeah. Do you know who that is? Nope. Oh, an amazing uh, athlete. He was. Um, he was America. Um, he was the yeah. premier cyclist. And there's the famous Major oh, Taylor Velodrome. Oh, I didn't know that that's where the name came from. Yeah, he was a, a yeah, real person. Yeah, I should person. have known that. 1878 to 1932. I believe it's Velodromy. <laughs> I used to. Boy, doesn't Velodromy sound like some really annoying band? <laughs> no, it sounds like a horrible oh, disease. Oh, yeah, Velodromy. Yes. Yeah. Velodromy, they have two oh, pianos, uh, and they're tuned in different ways. Are, are one, of, one of the first Genesis albums? Uh, <laughs> now, here's the thing. My okay, nails... Peter, that's it up. Why don't you quit the band? Yeah, my take nails, the costume off. Uh, my nails fall off, and then they burst in flame. And it's pretty painful. It's religious, Mary. Oh, yeah, you got that the. It? Yeah, I got it. Sounds that. like a disease. It's yeah, awful. Yeah. Okay, well, mm -hmm. horrible. Who you know. will love me? <laughs> then, of course, there's also, we were talking about people named Major. I don't know why none of you guys have ever watched the news. Major Garrett's great. No, I'm sure he's very good at his Ace, job. Ace, you watch as well, much news as I do. Shut seen? up. Why are you obsessed over this guy? No. Thank you, Ace. I am <laughs> obsessed by him. I am trying to make it, but there are a lot of people named Major. Major Harris, Major Lance, Major Garrett. Major Taylor. Okay, you major, made your point. What about Major Jackass? Could what we about you? Move on. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, well, if you know someone that is... Are there any minors? Is there somebody named Minor? I think, uh, Josh, I think that's, I, uh, that's very much against the law. <laughs> no, yeah, there absolutely there are. It's my birthday. I want minors. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. If it's your Cole first time listening diamond. to the show. What do you want? What kind of minor? No, no, no. Young, oh, sweet <laughs> things. Oh, oh, You know, Josh, in some places. I was trying places, to save you. In some places, children mine for diamonds. So oh, maybe that could be God. something you're interested in. There are minor miners. <laughs> Remember when the old guy walks into the bar and he's got the, uh, the donkey out front with his with, uh, the, with all of his uh, mining gear on it? And the guy, the bartender, looks at him and goes, "Sorry, old timer, we don't serve miners." <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love that. <laughs> or the uh, hamburger who walks in the bar and the bartender says, "Sorry, we don't serve food here." Uh, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, it's a hamburger. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh. I don't funny. want any of that pity crap. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I'm just okay. my three minors and let's move on. That's <laughs> funny, pretty boy. Up with their heads. There are a lot of uh, people, but I've never heard of any of them with the surname Minor. Oh, you mean like Major Carrot? Yeah, Wilma Minor. No, I wanted a first name. Yeah, not the oh, surname. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Sir Douche. What about, <laughs> what about the major and the minor? Did anybody care? For, wasn't that There's a major, major in Catch 22. Oh, yeah, God. boy. Oh, right. <laughs> are there any Are there any keyboard players named Major Keys? That'd be cool for me. You know, I'd get a kick bad. out of that. Yeah. Who, who was the wonderful sax uh, player? Uh, Re Alto, Alto Reed. Reed. Yeah. 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 Alto so Alto so in, the, in that vein? Yes, yeah, exactly right. Very good. Very That's good. clever. Well, um, Bobby Keys and the Rolling Stones. There we go. We got it. Except he, he was not a he was a horn player. Yeah, he played sax. Uh, yeah, well, yeah well. there's nothing. Yeah, uh, not, not <laughs> well, interesting. Interesting. Not. And Fred right Beard now. Didn't have a beard. Here's something interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, coming up, comedian Reno Collier also. Thanks for the warning. Want to remind you that uh, uh, Good RX. What is that? Well, sure. it's an app. It's a free app that can save you serious, serious cash. We get love letters about Good RX. Let me drag one. Up over here. I get love letters about me. Oh, that's it's awesome. all about you. <laughs> well, Happy birthday. freaking birthday. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this is from Christine in North Carolina, Dear Bob and Tom Show. Uh, I know you get love letters about good RX. I wanted to send you one. I was diagnosed with a certain bug. I'm sorry, my husband was diagnosed with a certain bug, given a certain medication. This goes on and on and the on. The love bug? Um, it dropped from way over $100 to under 10 wow. Thank you, GoodRx. Tell me more, Christy Lee. That's right. GoodRx can instantly compare prescription prices at pharmacies right there in your neighborhood. They check over 70,000 pharmacies nationwide. CVS, Kroger, Walgreens, Walmart, Vons, Rite Aid. You get the idea. It could save you up to 80%. GoodRx, absolutely free. 
free, easy to use, and works whether you do or do not have insurance. And even if you have insurance, you might be surprised to find out GoodRx could beat your copay price. That's right. Simple, smart savings on your prescriptions are just a click away. Check out GoodRx.com slash Tom. That's GoodRx.com slash Tom. GoodRx is not insurance, but can be used in place of insurance. In 2021, GoodRx users saved an average of 81% on retail prescription prices. Chick, I couldn't help but hear you sighing over there. You have something on your mind, young man? Uh, I'm not speaking to Gordon. Tom, isn't it, hasn't this bit <laughs> run its course? <laughs> Is this hey. because I was flirting with your daughter? Possibly. <laughs> She's very uh, much a minor. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, uh, we'll talk with comedian Reno Collier. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> uh, sure, it's a Monday, but it's not too late to treat yourself to a VIP membership at BobandTom.com. If you love the Bob and Tom Show, how about full access now, including the Bob and Tom Archives, the complete album library, listening to the show commercial-free, you heard me, and on demand with our daily podcast. Check out the Bob and Tom VIP premium service at bobandtom.com slash VIP. Makes a great gift for those loved ones in your life who love the Bob and Tom show. Open the door to the vault and let them in. The Bob and Tom archives and the complete album library. Part of the VIP premium service. Again, check it out at bobandtom.com slash VIP. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison. With things you may have missed, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has blasted officials over slow medicine deliveries and ordered his military to respond to the largely undiagnosed COVID-19 crisis that has left 1.2 million people ill with fever, 50 dead in just a matter of days, more than 500,000 people in quarantine due to the fever, eight more deaths, nearly 393,000 newly detected fevers reported Monday. It's not known how many COVID-19 since North Korea likely lacks enough test kits. It's also not clear if North Korea's urgent messaging about the outbreak indicates a willingness to receive outside help. It has shunned vaccines from a U.N.-backed program. China and South Korea say they're willing to help, but indicated North Korea has yet to request any help. Oil giant Saudi Aramco says its profits soared by more than 80 percent in the first three months of the year as the state-backed company cashes in on the volatility in global energy markets, soaring oil prices following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The bumper first quarter earnings announced Sunday by the firm formerly known as the Saudi Arabian Oil Company show a record net income of $39.5 billion, up $21.7 billion during the same period last year. Already resurgent economic activity and the relaxation of global coronavirus restrictions had revived demand for hydrocarbons and delivered strong annual results for the state-backed company last year, recently passing Apple as the highest income company in the world. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> the perfect gift has arrived for this single man. The new cologne from the makers of Clintorius and Bon Air. Oh, no. France's most noted fashion designer, yours truly, Mr. Bechon of Paris, has developed an exciting and stimulating <laughs> new scent for men. Honey, come on. You've been in the bathroom for half an hour. What are you doing in there? Just, just enjoying my, uh, Mr. Bation. <laughs> Mr. Bation. <laughs> just slap a little on. Repeatedly. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh. I needed that. Is that Mr. Bation? Yeah, I, I think that's the sign. <laughs> Mr. Bation. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. They discovered the scorched ring box, but the ring inside was not damaged. The car was on fire, Josh. What do you want? What this, kid, this kid buys an engagement ring. Godwin, what do you got for us? Our car is a burning thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it heats up the engagement ring. <laughs> it's 
steaming hood and melting tires. I left the ring in a car on fire. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. This is Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24-7, 24 For Batman, it was Batgirl. For Superman, it was Supergirl. And now, meet Spider-Man's female counterpart. From Bob and Tom Productions, it's the superhero women have known about for years. All right, toots, this is a stick-up. Hand over all your money. Oh, dear! Yeah, come on, lady, hurry it up. Somebody's going to get hoit. Help! Oh, please help! Won't somebody help me? Let that young woman go, you two ruffians. Yeah? Who's going to make us? I am. <laughs> come on, lady. You must be in your mid-50s. <laughs> yeah, what do you have going? Some kind of superpowers? Yes, I do. Take a look at these. <laughs> oh, gross. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's... Spider Vane Woman. Oh, God, no! Spider Man got his superpowers from being bitten by a spider. Spider Vane Woman got her powers from working as a waitress for 17 years. Don't make Spider Vane Woman show you her legs because if she has to, she will. Look at this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna puke! Mm -hmm. Oh, here, hold my purse. I'll show you my hysterectomy scar. Uh. When you need help, call on the only superhero who wears long polyester pants, oh. comfortable support hose, and sensible shoes. She's spider vein. Here, thank you, John. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Willie Griswold. Morning. Ace Cosby manning the track phone hotline hot phone. Howdy. Also sitting on that Omaha Steaks joke of the day. Uh, momentarily, I would say. And here's birthday boy Josh Arnold. Hello there. And I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Of course, the big celebration. I mean, your, your, your birthday is important, Josh, but the big celebration is coming up this summer, the sixth anniversary yeah. of uh, Josh Arnold being on the show oh, oh boy. as a full-time participant. They're already putting the tents up, I saw. Uh, uh, yeah, and we're working on getting that one-man band. <laughs> is that in August? The Camel. Oh, yeah, yeah and, and I, I believe the actual date falls on a Saturday. Is that correct? I forget. I'll look. I, August 1st. So that's why we're doing the two-week thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The week yeah, into week the, People yeah. are asking about the one-man band. They thought it might have been your surprise for your birthday. but Oh, no. I think that's supposed to be an anniversary. No. August 1st is a Monday. Oh, okay. Uh, now, got a nice letter here. Uh, uh, enjoyed seeing Donnie Baker at the Farm Bar and Grill Friday. Cool. Please send our gratitude to Mr. Baker for making the trek to West Virginia in spite of all the frogs. Okay. So many frogs, huh? So many frogs. Yeah, um, yeah. well, you're welcome. Well, I'll remind you that Donnie is going to be <laughs> uh, starting this Thursday at the Blue Room in Springfield, Missouri. For a bunch of shows, then I'll be at Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington coming up in a couple of weeks. Cool. Speaking of comedians, I look at the big screen here and I see through the magic of uh, some kind of digital technology, the handsome face of comedian Reno Collier. Oh, you got a little product Good morning, in your my friends. Little product in your hair there, <laughs> Reno? No, dude. Product. Yeah, it looks like a haircut, maybe. Like, yeah. It's uh, a toupee. <laughs> what about those sides, Whatever. Tom? How uh, about those shaved sides, Tom? Well, yeah, yeah, high, yeah, yeah, high and you, tight. You shave the sides, but with, you still got the beard. It looks like a, you got it done at a pet shop. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my <laughs> let me, let me tell you, so I went, there's a truck stop by my house. No. I go to this truck stop. Every, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they cut hair? Yeah, it's where I met my wife. No. <laughs> so... So I go in there, and there's this lady in there, and every time anyone is in line, she's like, are y'all going to the lake? Are you going to the... And you have to sit through, like, ten people up. Are you going to the lake? Are you? And I get up there, and she never asks me. And I go, how come you never ask me if I'm going to the lake? She goes, because look at you. You buy beef jerky and that Pepsi. That ain't lake food. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> so what? You could at least ask. She goes, I keep it real. I'm like, what are you talking about? You keep... She goes, I, I try to keep it real. She goes, look, at you got a football T-shirt on. You don't play football. I go, lady, your shirt says pilot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you don't. And then she got on my beard. She goes, well, she goes, you have a beard that you ain't a real man. I'm like, so do you. <laughs> I have to stop at the drug stop for the, the delightful I repartee. Find the drug stop. Oh, that is great. Sure Margaret's out there. Uh, uh, Reno Collier is our veteran of the Grand Old Opry. 
As, yes, sir. Uh, congratulations. But, Reno, as a, as a professional joke teller, I think um, we, we, not that we need to school you, but I think it is that time. Ladies and gentlemen. Who's that sexy yeah. man with a deep voice? Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. What do you call a pizza with just peppers on it? <laughs> what? <laughs> a pepper only pizza. <laughs> pepper only. <laughs> pepper only pizza. No, 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 no. Oh, Christy just saying no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Didn't care for it, doesn't want it. Nope. Don't Wished like it. it hadn't happened. Nope. <laughs> hate, hate you. Should be oh. driving home going. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, you're one of those? <laughs> oh, you guys have to laugh on the way home. <laughs> you get it on the way home. You have to nuts. process comedy <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. What was the setup again? What do you call a pizza? A pizza with just peppers on it. Oh, I see pepper only What pizza. was the setup again? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Trying to enjoy it? It's wordplay. Uh, wordplay sure, <laughs> I'd like it if I enjoyed it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's wordplay jig. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get wordplay. You're uh, right. uh, uh, Christy Lee remains at the news desk. Uh, my favorite story today that no one else liked. I thought it was great. Uh, do you like a, a nice burrito? Reno. Love them. Stupid Love. story. Well, the, uh, uh, hang on for this yeah, earth-shattering tidbit. The burrito tidbit. tape burrito. has been invented. Uh, Johns Hopkins University students have created edible burrito tape uh -huh. to seal the burrito <laughs> to make it... Uh, so it looks like a little Band-Aid that you would stick on your burrito to keep it from unrolling, basically. you got to be kidding me. It's Yeah, it's edible. It apparently is made with um, food-grade common food and dietary additives. Isn't so that did we safe cure to eat? all the diseases? Is that why scientists are working on this now? <laughs> yes. Can we figure everything else out? How Tasty time? tape. Can you roll a burrito, Tom? I uh, happen to Pepper be... Pepperoni uh, pizza? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I um, <laughs> have done a lot of uh, cooking where in which I would make egg rolls. Stands with the question. <laughs> no, I mean, egg, egg, rolls, egg rolls are very similar, uh, and I would make wontons. Uh, Pork-filled wontons, shrimp-filled egg rolls. Uh, it's a similar thing. Chris, with an egg roll, you, you, you put it in, you deep fry it. So that's yeah, that makes it all stick together. Well, uh, deep frying, what's that? Walk me through fryer? that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knows how to roll a joint or a cigarette. We were with Andy Newmark, and remember you rolled one in front of all of us. It was hilarious. You know, I, I, Dude, that's how you can tell if your kid smokes pot. It's take them to get a burrito. When they roll it, if they lick it before they twist yeah, it. Yeah, they ram it in their mouth and <laughs> yeah. give it the old behind the green door treatment. Yeah. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. What does that mean? You explain everything to us. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah. you shut up right now and explain to me what the behind the green no, door treatment mean? is. I think it'd be wrapping One your, of the most famous adult films. Wrapping your lips around the what? burrito and, <laughs> you know. Boy. We oh, have yeah. to explain it to you, Christy. Huh? How's that sound again? You feel Tom? sorry for that man here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, your What's dream that date just ended. What sound does it make, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Worst oh, ASMR oh, ever. God. Someone should lock you up right now. Now, if oh. your son had to listen to that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You want to go to the lake? <laughs> now, if you technically, if, if you don't, deep fry, don't double down on that. <laughs> if you, I'm gonna keep going. Hey, John, look, I got. Listen, people always say they're like, you don't say enough mm. when you're on the show. I have material. I tried, John. Like last week was Mother's Day. I wrote a whole bunch of bad Mother's Day cards from like uh, bad to bad moms. Can you I give us any, uh, Can you give us an example? Do you have of that? one? I, I, well, yes. Um, <laughs> All right. What you got? Buddy? Dear, dear, dear mom, roses are red. Dad watches porn. Quit doing meth. Your teeth look like corn. <laughs> that's that's charming. Uh -huh. wow. What about this? There once was a mom from Nantucket. That's okay. And it just ends right there. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Reno, uh, I'm going to have to see proof of this so called we want to hear more from you email. <laughs> 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 now, who's who knows the most about about uh, Mexican cuisine around here? Probably maybe. Mexicans. Yeah, I was gonna say Hispanics. <laughs> maybe the people making it. Probably. You know. I said in this, oh, oh, in this room. Oh, in this room. If you if, if you take a burrito and drop it in oil and fry it, it's a chimichanga. chimichanga. It becomes right. a chimichanga. Right. Yeah, that's very good, Tom. So yes. you don't need a. You don't need the tape on one of those then, right? No. You don't need it on most burritos. Burritos yeah. stay together. Well, I, I don't know what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, how is the burrito staying together while it's being deep fried? They don't need well, this they love tape. Yeah. They don't. So you're, you're <laughs> poo-pooing this invention? Yes. I, I'd be a little bit more severe than poo-pooing on, uh, on it. I, <laughs> The steamed tortilla or even the hot ingredients inside help to hold everything Keep together. Keep it sticky. 
Yeah, and then you put it with the flat side down, with the open side flat down, so it, it, things stay in there. How would you feel if you were at a restaurant and you looked at the kitchen and you saw a guy <laughs> rolling a burrito, then putting it up to his mouth, sticking his tongue out, and giving it the that like, like you would do a joint? Be so bummed out. <laughs> you look oh, at the no, Snoop Dogg technique. How nice. <laughs> Rain all over the lake, sit, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> at the truck stop. You just said that same joke. <laughs> 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 Let's I'm sorry. Let's Christy, go uh, Christy Lee is at the news desk. Christy, what else have you Today got? Today is there? National Barbecue Day. Oh. In honor of Josh's birthday, I wanted to bring that up because you're supposed to set aside time to get your grill ready for a long summer of barbecue. Okay. And I know you're one of the most prolific barbecuers probably in this room. Not not, I thought you were going to say barbecue eaters. No. <laughs> no, you I like am. to barbecue. I love it. Love grilling. Yes. Yeah. Guy, Reno's a pit master. That's true. You have I love a, it. That's you ever, right, you, uh, you ever grill out up at the lake there, Reno? <laughs> <laughs> With your beef jerky. I'm not allowed to go to the lake. <laughs> you take your... No, oh, you, right, you don't keep it real. Your, right, your famous man. recipe where you marinate the beef jerky and diet Pepsi. Oh, no, that is yummy. <laughs> and then you put it on the grill. <laughs> you know what? You know why this is arguably the most successful Reno segment ever in the history of the show? Because Reno is grabbing a little bit of what we like to call blatant hostility. Yes. <laughs> and that's the only way to roll in this room, buddy. Oh, yeah. I disagree with that lady. Beef jerky is perfectly fine lake food. Yeah, I, do. I agree. On the way to the lake, but once you get there, you don't want to look at the beautiful view and chew on beef jerky. Why not? You're, what, you're nuts? Well, you want to have we... a nice shore lunch, isn't that right, <laughs> Yeah, you go out and catch oh, some boy. fish, have a shore lunch. Shore lunch. You are a liar. More perch, Rebecca. Uh, have you ever had a shore lunch with your dad? No, we would always Past go to Gurney's, the great deli and liquor store, and get delicious <laughs> sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> you, you want a great shore lunch. And yeah. a handful of jerky and go back it, to the shore. If you're in downtown Harbor Springs, Michigan, Here you go to Gurney's go. and get a couple delicious sandwiches. And shit, could you imagine that 14-year-old Willie, you really had to twist his arm to make him go to the liquor store. Oh, yeah. I was having a blast in there. Yeah. Getting my eyes on things. By the way, cash only. <clears throat> oh, my uh. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's oh, interesting. Where were we? Um, uh, speaking of drinking, the owner of a rural English pub named Vogue says he was asked to change the bar's name by the publisher of Vogue magazine. All right. The pub is located in the village of Vogue. Um, Mark Graham, who runs the Star Inn at Vogue, said he received a letter from mm. British Vogue publisher Condé Nast yes. that said members of the public might confuse the two businesses. Condé Nasty. It's not Condé Nasty. I thought it was. Oh, I like Condé Nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. I thought it was. I thought it was Condé Nasty. Oh. <laughs> hey, is that is not it, right? I think I believe that's Spanish. Uh, I think so. You're exactly right. The letter asked if he would change the name, adding, "Quote, please reply within seven days, or we'll take remedial action." Go for it. Graham Waste everybody's time. He rebuffed the request. Josh sent a reply, noting that the village is considerably older than the magazine, yeah, no whose kidding. British edition was founded in 1916, and quipped. Uh, quote, I presume that at the time when you chose the name Vogue, yes. you didn't seek permission from the villagers of the real Vogue. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, we're yeah. changing the name of our town to Glamour. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, if the magazine didn't sue Madonna, yeah. why would they all of a sudden sue right. the, this village? Madonna. Come on, Jackie, Vogue better than anybody. God, I, help. I love this song. <laughs> I, I do, too. I really do. And the, the piano solo is amazing. Chick McGee, Ace Cosby, Patty Godwin, Willie G. Reno Collier, Tom Griswold, Reno. Dean Metcalf, Christy Reno. Lee. Reno up at the lake. <laughs> Reno's Reno going to the lake. Oh. Reno <laughs> going to the lake. Turkey <laughs> with the lake. Uh -huh. I have Pepsi with Reno. Yeah. Okay. You ain't no pilot. Feel that, Steve? Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, Reno, maybe for your next tour, you should see if you could get one of these beef jerky companies to sponsor the Reno Collier tour. Oh, that'd be amazing. What, Dude, I'd do it. What is, what is your, uh, what's your favorite brand of, uh... Jack's. Jack's. Good stuff, yeah. Jack's, Jack's, Jack's jerky. Giant, I normally get it, I normally get it at Bass Pro Shop, because you can get a bag that's like a seed bag full of it. Right. For 15 bucks, and it's a giant, yeah. We'll take those. But down. I like venison. I like homemade the best. Like venison jerky is the best. Oh, dear. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, it's so good. How much dough? That's that? wordplay. Oh, dear. You don't have to dehydrate it as long because it's so lean. 
Huh. So it costs under a buck? Okay, we'll just get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of dough. It's a dough. <laughs> we got deer nuts. Okay, so Fish. this 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 magazine <laughs> lawsuit apparently has been dropped. Oh, all right. The so. bar called The Vogue can keep their name, which they've had for several hundred years, apparently, and whatever. Um, I, I guess they have to try to take action against anyone who uses the name Vogue. I don't know. Are there a lot of theaters named The Vogue? Is What's, the name, yeah. What's the name of the city now? Vogue. Vogue. Oh, you wanted it from the start. Well, go ahead. Read the story. We already read the story. I just like the music. So it's you're on. heading to the lake. <laughs> you got your diet Pepsi <laughs> and your <laughs> meat that's fake. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Smell sweet on. mackerel. <laughs> Put your panties back on, Madonna. <laughs> Did you see her latest work? No, what's she up to? No, the where, where, I saw wait a minute, where are her eyes now? Are they on the back of her head? No, I oh. meant... Uh, I can't believe it, right, Kristen? The latest thing that she's doing, she did a 3D oh, man. NFT. It's an NFT that she's selling, but it's her body i guess it's her and they've done this 3d she's naked and it's animated and she has butterflies shooting out of her vagina and she has a tree growing hang on a second what, oh, what were they doing christy <laughs> what, what's going on one more time she has a she has butterflies flying out of her vagina hey! <laughs> how about that yeah, oh you guys crazy. have to see have you seen this There's, oh yeah Dad? a tree's coming out of it a too. tree is coming out of it Dad, I think you'll hate Worms. it so much your head will explode. Oh, I guarantee yeah, you she looked at the finished product and said, at last, someone's captured me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a 3D rendition. It's a character, but I mean, right. it, it looks, yeah, it's not subtle at so all. It's kind of pretty. You cool, think it's cool pretty? graphics? Uh, all right. Those caterpillars couldn't wait to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the weird thing, then there's a, a guy with a pith helmet and a butterfly net <laughs> and a monocle. I, I say. I'll, I'll take uh, those. Find the keys to my Range well, Rover. We'll drive out. What is a caterpillar? Uh, Jose Christmas. can say. Correct me if I'm wrong. Jose can say, comes out, Big Daddy Kane comes out. <laughs> yeah. Warren oh. Beatty. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> John Penn pops his head out <laughs> A soccer team. <laughs> yeah. the There's idea. some kind of plant. Can you see that? Yeah. We get the it's idea. subtle. Are there, oh, it's unbelievable. We well, hmm. well, she makes a lot of money with it. That's kind All of her right. thing. Here's butterflies. Okay, well. Worms. <laughs> I know, it's really graphic. Oh, it's blushing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, gra uh, it's graphic. Uh, uh, Reno? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, um, what's your schedule? I don't have it here. Though. I'm going to be, this Wednesday, I'm going to be at the Paramount Arts Theater in Ashland, Kentucky. Then this weekend, I'll be at the Denver Improv. And then the week after that, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska at the Funny Bone. All, All right. right. And you and I just uh, came up with some dates together, and we'll we'll decide yes, if we, we want to invite did, Willie my again. Friend. Hey, well, <laughs> we'll get those I out there. Wait. You know I what? just sit pretty. We'll find I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah. getting Slim Jim and Pepsi at this truck stop. <laughs> That's right. I love you, Willie. Love you too, Reno. <laughs> Some bitch. We'll have fun, man. Okay, yeah. Okay, Reno. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Reno. Uh, we have, have to move great, on happy here. Happy birthday, Josh. Thank you, man. Sorry. See you, buddy. Um, we have some photographs of Josh's beautiful birthday cake posted at the Bob and Tom social media platforms. Also, while you're there, we have the puppets um, doing various things. The Bob and Tom show puppets. Something in the works for the puppets coming up soon. All well, right. The puppets. Uh, we'll certainly look forward to that. Right now, I want to uh, ask you this question. After the show is over, do you want to go home and to your compound? Maybe just yes. uh, shut the doors, lock yes. them, and know that you're safe because of your Simply Safe security system, as told to you by Chick McGee. Have peace of mind. You guys know we love the break-in protection with Simply Safe Home Security. They do it yourself, Home Security, and design it yourself. Not always outside forces, though, trying to break in. This is Terry's story. She was away for the weekend for her daughter's wedding. The morning of the big day, got a call from Simply Safe's 24 7 professional monitoring center. They let her know that her system had detected water in her basement. In moments like this, time is critical. Even an inch of just a little water can cause tens of thousands of dollars in damage. And thankfully, Simply Safe had detected the water just moments after the leak. She made arrangements for the water to be shut off, and it is indeed a happy ending. It's a comprehensive Simply Safe system and 24 7 professional monitoring. You can have someone always looking out for you, just like Terry. And plans cost under a dollar a day. 
No long-term contracts or hidden fees because they're not good. You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafetom.com. Go today. Claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Again, that's simplysafetom.com. Thank you, Chick McGee. Um, got a nice letter here, Pat Godwin, yes, about sir. your uh, show over the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it said, headline, Pat Godwin kills Iowa. All right. Um, he said, I have seen Rodney, Tim, and Josh, and several other comedians. I witnessed Saturday night the best show I've ever seen. Wait a minute, what? What the deal? Why, to read why, that? You didn't have to put Josh's name in Come there. Come on. It's his birthday. Yeah. I've seen Rodney and Tim and... Rodney's fun. Not Jerry. others. Jerry. <laughs> others. Perfect. Pat had a mature female heckler named Charlene. <laughs> she met, oh, sure I do. Yeah. And a singer named Cowboy Bill singing about <laughs> boogers. <laughs> I laughed the entire hour and 25 minutes. So you were laughing at the other people, not so much Pat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't go I, there, Jeff. I would follow Pat anywhere. He's a genius. Mature female uh, heckler is my favorite porn category. Wow. <laughs> You're so tiny. <laughs> Josh was funnier. Okay, well, that's a nice letter. I, I, uh, uh, Pat, lots of good shows coming up with Mr. Godwin. Um, he'll be at the Irving Theater coming up along with Willie and me and uh, that's gonna be great. Uh, Josh, possibly Chick. We'll see. Uh, coming up on June 17th, Willie, this weekend, am I getting this right? Willie and Josh are in Ilian, New York at uh, Cachetor. Uh, Josh with Willie, yes. Okay, okay. Very, very Is that good. anywhere near Ilya Kiryakin? Uh, oh, a <laughs> reference to the man from Uncle. Yeah, that's right, just for you, Tom. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that's an hour on that one. We'll get back. Okay, thrush. That's uh, when we come back, we're going to be finding out uh, more, um, the uh, educational part more of the program. Yeah. yeah, more stuff. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest dash rules. Or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Things you hear on the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> the Law Minute with ex-attorney Jack Thomas. You know, I got a lot of mail here at the ex-law office. Well, this comes from young Davey Radonovich. He asks, what is the difference between slander and libel? Well, what kind of idiotic, stupid question is that? <laughs> what kind of little pea brain moron would write me? I think if I were you, little Davey, I'd worry more about inbreeding than I would about the law. <laughs> Uh, Davy, that was slander. <laughs> I would, if I would have written it down, it would have been libel. This has been the Law Minute with ex-attorney Jack Thomas. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the law is your friend. It's the lawyers you have to watch out for. And remember this: the preceding has been a joke, not legal advice. Learn to know the difference. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Happy birthday, Josh Arnold. That's right, the man, the legend. It is the birthday of one Josh Arnold, so we stop to celebrate here on this Monday, May 16th. Greg Warren, Reno Collier. Coming up on Tuesday, Jessica Hooker, Hooker the Cooker from the Bits and Pieces podcast will be joining us as well. We'll be loaded up, and don't forget... We've still got a lot of the show to go today, including some history to look at. Coming up with Tom Griswold right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Bob and Tom News Desk. President Joe Biden and the First Lady plan to travel to Buffalo, New York, Tuesday to grieve with the community as it mourns those killed or wounded in Saturday's supermarket shooting. 
Biden is urging unity as a remedy for what he calls, quote, the hate that remains a stain on the soul of America. Are there fake and spam accounts on Twitter? Well, the obvious answer to both questions is yes, but that seems to be news to the man who says he wants to spend $44 billion to buy the social media platform. Billionaire Elon Musk says he's putting his purchase of Twitter on hold, though he still plans to go through with it. The hang-up is knowing the number of spam and fake accounts on the site. While the number of bogus accounts may vary widely, they've always been there, and some analysts think that Musk may be raising the issue as a reason to back out of his purchase. And two researchers at the University of Michigan are emphasizing the P in peony. Nancy Love and Krista Wigington have been applying urine-based fertilizer to heirloom peony beds at the school in Ann Arbor before the flower's annual spring bloom. And it's worked. Now they want to get the word out about how nutrition-rich urine could have environmental and economic benefits. One right off the bat is that a recent study found using recycled urine could lead to big reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and energy. Who knew? And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Hey, man, it's Donnie Baker. And the fact remains, there's nothing better than being a VIP. And I don't mean like his dudes on Pervert Rabbit Xanadus. I'm talking about a Bob and Tom VIP. Best thing, you'll never miss another minute of the show. I swear to God, you can hear the show here in the morning. And then because you're a Bob and Tom VIP, you'll get the podcast of the entire show, a 12-month library of podcasts, hundreds of Bob and Tom comedy tapes, and a 60-day video archive of the show. Bob and Tom VIP. You have to get it. It's state law. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. (laughs) You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential morning radio. (laughs) This is Bob and Tom 24-7. 24-7. Brigham All Broadcasting presents another Bob and Tom Olympic moment in history. The oldest gold medalist was in 1912 when Oscar Swan took home first prize in a shooting event as a 64-year-old. And while a 64-year-old Olympian is rather amazing, there was almost an 87-year-old winner at the first Olympic luge competition in Innsbruck, Austria, 1964. The fastest luge run was logged by an 87-year-old Austrian, Johann Liekensfinkter. <laughs> Johann amazed the crowd and the judges who nearly awarded him the gold medal oh. until it was learned that Liekensfinkter was not entered in the event or even on the team. It seems that Johann was a spectator who had slipped and accidentally slid down the track at a record pace. (laughs) Leakin Sphincter left his mark in Olympic history as well as on the luge track itself. This has been another Bob and Tom Olympic moment in history. Good morning, sunshine! Bob and Tom, 24-7, 24-7, 24-7, 24 I actually uh, have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 safety first, everybody, safety first. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Which begs the question, why do you need Bob and Tom? I got some special treats for you. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yeah. There's Pat Godwin <laughs> in the performance room. Oh, it must be 945 <laughs> Eastern. Yeah. 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 All of us yeah. are a little... We're done. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Hello, Chick. Oh, uh, you heard. Thank you for all the birthday yeah. wishes, yeah, everybody. It's you heard birthday. it's his birthday. It means, yeah. it means a lot. It does. Yeah. Thank you. There's Ace Cosby at the track phone hotline hot phone. There's Willie Griswold. I want a bigger cake for Josh's birthday next year. I want to make it more about me, Josh's birthday. Okay. Cool. What about a Willie cake? For Josh's birthday? Yeah. <laughs> now, for your anniversary, 
Uh, I was thinking maybe pie. Okay. Um, May I send you a list of my favorite pies? Absolutely. All right. Or angel food cake. No, I, it's my least favorite dessert of all time. What, too sweet, too gorgeous, too, well, too, uh, awful. too soft on it's the palate? Too, too nothing. It's delicious. Oh, Barely there's some fl- strawberries on there? Oh, oh fresh yeah, strawberries. Keep it. Yes. <laughs> You get me an angel food cake. You watch me how quickly I stuff it into a storm sewer. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds That's an delicious. interesting choice. <laughs> hey, Tom, yeah. I don't think he wants an angel food cake. Okay. All right, now, you guys, we were talking about this uh, football player. <laughs> oh, his, name, his actual name is General Booty. Yeah. He's going to be playing in Oklahoma, right? <laughs> Yeah, I want this yeah. guy to be so successful for no other reason than the great headline writers will I have. I like it. I like it. But then we're going to do an argument about people who have names that are the same as military ranks. I, of course, began with Sergeant Shriver. Well, we got into the argument because you want to do it. We don't. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I mentioned, I mentioned Major Garrett, which... Um, you Philistines have never heard of him because you don't watch any news. We don't obsess issues. over you, the... you live life with l- l- looking are you, at it with are rose-colored you in, glasses. Are you in love with Major Garrett? It's okay. No, Admit I'm, it. Uh, you're then, in love with him. We talked about the <laughs> musical artist Major Harris, mm-hmm. and you admitted you loved one of his songs. That's not true. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> All right, maybe that's true. You said you I'm in love with that. That song was one of the commercials that the guy ran in trying to fleece the awful owner <laughs> out of money while he was running an unauthorized concert promotion. Then there's um, Major Lance, another great artist. Did you, do you remember this song from Major Lance? Major Lance and the Boils. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. And remember, didn't, really? didn't Boyle Boy sing? I think Boyle, yeah, they called yeah. us the Boyle Boy. Lance, uh, Lance blank, make it funny, and you throw in Boyle. Boyle yeah. Major right. Lance and the Boyles, I think, is right. funny. I like it. I'm trying to play the serious song. I apologize. Hey, Josh, is a smaller version, like the mini kiss version, but it's called Minor Lancets. Is that also funny or no? Minor Lancets? Yeah, Lancets. Uh, too like much L-A-N-C-E-T-S. <laughs> Pat, you know this song? Too, too much work. We don't know. Played it. No. Walking through the park. No, it wasn't wait, wait, wait. quite dark. There was a man sitting on a bench. <laughs> <laughs> so you're walking walk through Never the park. It's it. not quite dark. He's the, the Ripper. Park. Park. No. <laughs> <laughs> the songs were different back then. Could you? You're going to recognize this in just a second. Calm down. Remember this one, Chip? I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Isn't that a great song? Mm-mm-mm-mm. What's the name of it? <laughs> Find a pickle park. <laughs> but we said rape. Why you always raping them girls? No, he didn't. He said, <laughs> he said that. Josh, no, he's, he's saying, <laughs> that was your birthday, man. <laughs> How many times do I have to say, I don't care if it's your birthday, you flaming jackass? Can't do that. Can we do Still, Can we do anything but this? This is the best <laughs> military named artist. Give me just a oh, yeah. More time. That's a song, too. That's a great song. My love will surely grow. Don't That's a that. great song. Who is this? Give me just a little more Major time. Harris. Uh, chairman of the board? No, it's. Uh, the chairman of the board, and that's General Johnson. Well, that's General Johnson. I'm sorry. Major, what, what was the Major Harris song you loved? I don't. Well, love won't let me something. Love won't let me rape. I believe. Oh. <laughs> that's, what it was that's a sweet song. It was sort of a rebuttal to that. Today in history, Tom, your thoughts and feelings. Uh, this is Major Harris. Here. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, isn't that good? <laughs> oh, Josh. <laughs> Let's see. Mom, would you song. like to dance? Yeah, Josh, <laughs> Tonight, tonight at the Welch Armory, Major Harris. Love the name of this song should be Mom, Would You Like Today? <laughs> this is, uh, this is, uh, Love Won't Let Me Wait. Yeah, see, yeah. This is a good song. See, Josh, no. this is gonna, you, you, you take, you know, one of these ladies you meet at the bus station. And, <laughs> Wrong button. Okay. Hey, I don't pay them to listen to music. Time now. Oh, sorry, what is, what are we doing? Time now. Time now oh. for today in history. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is weird. Real this can't quick. be. Is this a typo? 1571, <laughs> Johannes <laughs> Kepler calculated when he was conceived. Kepler, yeah. By his parents. That's. Uh, turns out nine months ago. Hold <laughs> well on, Kepler. <laughs> what in the hell is what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's the one. You, okay. On this day, Top Gun came out. 1986. Uh, arguably a light day. Oh, here we go. 1965, Campbell Soup Company introduced SpaghettiOs. Oh. oh. Yummy. 
for people who like pasta and ketchup. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you would love it. You Lord. love everything that sucks. <laughs> everything. With meatballs. Everything. Oh. From Alf to Spaghetti. <laughs> It all That's sucks. Your third book. From Alpha to SpaghettiOs, the Ace Cosby story. Ace, I have a friend who loves SpaghettiOs. Here we go. 1919. Too. Happy birthday to Lazio Valentino. And I loved you too. <laughs> you know that. Real name. I don't say that enough. I loved you. That was his real name. I loved you too, Willie. Uh, stage I love Italian name. Chick, huh? Stage name Liberace. Oh. 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 Mm, I, yeah. oh. I don't think. Um, I think he liked men. Is that what? Right? I, believe I that. heard so. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, happy that's birthday. the thing. Today on uh, Things You Learned, I uh, cursed the show with my attempt to say all the ships at sea. <laughs> right. You got, you got to hit that beat. And it, only, right it only got worse after right that. out of the gate. Uh, happy birthday, Josh Arnold. Thank you. 44, bitches. That's <laughs> right. Uh, I did have a Christy Lee weekend. I went to see her daughter off to the uh, United Kingdom. Gave her my... I uh, benefit from my wisdom of uh, being a traveler. Give her a little cash. To London. I gave her $4,000. Across the street, look left. <laughs> you did? I gave it to uh, Christy first. I assume she'll pass it on <laughs> yeah, to her. Right. And, when does she leave, Christy? Uh, today, 4 o'clock. See you, bitch. <laughs> See you, bitch. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, if your uh, meal is wrapped in lettuce, it does make me angry. Yeah, that is indeed correct. Uh, Pat Godwin had a tribute to the birthday boy, Josh, today. That's Thank you awesome. for that, Pat. It meant a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was wow. fun. <laughs> I love all you guys, and uh, you've made my birthday terrific. We love it too. <laughs> <laughs> now, there'll be some sour cream in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.